And hello, everyone. We welcome you to Blue Streak Stadium in Archibald. Huge matchup here as we moved on to the regional quarterfinal round of the Ohio High School football playoffs. And a big matchup we've got for you in Division 5 as the third-seeded Blue Streaks will play host to the six-seed Cavs of cold water with miles holiday i'm randy roberts partner been kind of waiting for this one all week huge matchup we've re- reached the second round of the playoffs a couple of 10 and one teams set to square off here and this one's going to be a classic tonight oh where else would you rather be than right here right now what a great matchup two traditionally rich uh, schools and i get to do it with the mayor of northwest ohio randy razzle dazzle roberts and if you are a three seed, you think second round you get a six seed. Oh, we're still in good shape, right? Martin oh no, yeah, right. right. Coldwater is not your every Diana, everyday Diana, kind of six Diana. seed. They are a fantastic team. And both teams, Haley, ten and one. Both teams, awesome teams. Now we're going to get into the numbers in just a couple of minutes. But partner, this is one where after we've uh, kind of digested some of the information, this is one where two teams qu- look probably. A little bit more like each other than they'd care to admit. Oh, without a doubt. They're very similar offensively with their styles. Both have really good quarterbacks. Both have capable running backs. Defensively, they both have coordinators that like to mix things up, give you different looks, and bring some pressure. And they're both teams that are physical. So this is going to be a really fun matchup. It's like that uh, Spider-Man meme where they're both That's pointing right. at each other. Well, we'll take a look at the uh, Region 18 bracket and let you know how uh, each of these teams have uh, gotten here to the quarterfinals. You see the uh, upper part uh, of this bracket has Liberty Center as the number one seed. They're taking on Huron tonight while Oak Harbor takes on Highland. We'll take a look at the uh, bottom half of this Region 18 bracket. It's got a couple of powerhouses in it as well as uh, Edison and Eastwood are playing in the uh, lower bracket along with the uh, Archibald and Coldwater, our game tonight. So the winner of this one will get either Edison or Eastwood in a regional semifinal as you see that lower bracket. And again, we get on to that next round at uh, the uh, sites that will be be a determined Sunday afternoon. And everyone in our line of work plays that fun game of, <laughs> uh, all right, well, this team's here. This team, you know, you put the pegs in the map and you're taking a look at What's the available stadiums to play next week? I know a play-by-play announcer that will actually take a piece of paper and write it out and guess it. Uh, His name may or may not be Randy Roberts. Maybe. And then what happens Sunday evening? Everybody complains about where they're at. So it's a fun weekend. The key, though, is you have to win so you can complain about the site. That's right. Let's take a look at Coldwaters. We said the top of our pregame coming in at 10 and 1. On our 14th year head coach, Chip Otten, all he's done is win at Coldwater, 165 and 29 at his time. Opened the playoffs with a 47 to nothing win over Indian Lake in the opening round, led by junior quarterback Balin Blockberger. Four touchdown passes in that win last week to open the playoffs. Uh, It's a theme that continues, right? Four touchdown passes, 30 on the year, only 11 interceptions. Uh, The junior has thrown for 2,334 yards. And he is a really good quarterback, but you know what makes him even better? He's got fantastic receivers, right? He's got uh, Braylon Hollermert that has 42 catches, A.J. with 45. The Hollermert brothers are fantastic. And he's got another slot guy, and Mason Welch has caught 33 balls. So if they can get him some time, he's going to find some weapons that they can uh, torch this Archibald defense with. Yeah, this is a cold water team that's throwing for 222 yards a game, running for 131. The rushing numbers don't look impressive until you realize that you go six, seven guys deep and the numbers don't fall off. Yeah, right. They kind of mix guys through there, right? You look at the the rushing totals, you see one guy with only 300 yards, but that being Depwog and Potcotter, those guys will mix in there and they're all capable runners, all of them averaging over 4.8 yards per carry. Yeah, you talked about the brothers, Harlem and what they've done this year. AJ, 19 yards per reception. Also with a kickoff return for a score against Indian Lake last week while Braylon had two TD catches and a TD run, so they're able to beat you multiple ways. And Coach Otten, he said they are a little bit concerned, though, because of the size up front of Archibald. So the offensive linemen of Wenning, Jones, Milligan, Barry, and Jones are going to have to do a great job. Not the biggest fellows in the world, but they're going to have to work hard. Want to is a big thing in blocking. Talk a little bit about the defense for Coldwater. They are allowing 153 yards a game passing while allowing just 77 yards per night on the ground. It starts with a junior linebacker. Cody Depwig, 103 tackles on the year, 10 for loss with six and a half sacks. Hey, he's the guy that Mark Bruns, the defensive coordinator, likes to dial up. A lot of their pressure comes from linebackers, 
Uh, they are a team that will give you a three-man front, Randy, and then either have five, the three guys up, a 3-3 team, but those outside linebackers they will use to play games with. You have to be able to find out where those guys are coming from. Coldwater also with a pair of really good defensive ends. Will Barry Andrew Jones, not the outfielder that feel like constantly <laughs> beat the Chicago Cubs when he played for the Atlanta Braves. Two guys that have combined for 11 and a half sacks this year. Yeah, almost identical stats. Both with 45 tackles, one with six sacks, and one with five and a half. So on third down, you've got to really make sure you know where Jones and Barry are, along with one of those linebackers that's going to be creeping up and bringing on a blitz. Rarely will they rush only three. And I'm glad you mentioned third down. That was a number that I had sticking out both teams really good at getting off the field on third downs Coldwater has allowed just 32 converted third downs teams are 28 percent 32 of 114 on the year well it starts by doing a good job against the run right so third down and long you had that three three five defense now you can dictate terms and you can bring overload blitzes against it Let's talk a little bit about the home standing Archibald Blue Streaks. Now, we said coming in at 10 and 1. America, they open the playoffs the with a 37 to 6 win stand. over Fredericktown. But before we get to the uh, talk of the Archibald Blue Streaks here, is, I believe Please we're going stand. to have the national Gentlemen, anthem. Remove your cap. And again, Archibald opened the playoffs with a 37 to 6 win over Fredericktown. They're led. Senior quarterback Cade Brenner had three TD passes and their win to open the playoffs to give him 22 on the year now. Yeah, Cade Brenner, second team NWOAL quarterback, 65% of his passes. When he is good, this offense is really unstoppable. Uh, 19 touchdown passes. However, the one stat that kind of jumps out, seven interceptions at times. He can be erratic when he's under pressure with the football. It's going to be key for Archibald that he makes good decisions from the pocket. Yeah, David Dominic now in his ninth year leading the Blue Streak, 74 and 25, about as balanced as you can be offensively, running for 183 yards a game, throwing for 152. A light cold water, a lot of different weapons. Chase Miller, their top receiver, had two TD catches against Fredericktown, now 630 yards on the year. And what can you say about the senior weapons like Lucas Dominic and Jackers for the Blue Streak? Yeah, Lucas Dominic, it's going to be key for him well, to get some yardage on the ground. Archibald has to stay committed to running the football, in my estimation, if they're going to win this football game. And Lucas Dominic's going to have to be a big part of it. And Jack Hurst, 294 receiving yards, 496 rushing yards. Okay, doesn't sound that great, but special teams, defense, does it all, and really the heart and soul for the Blue Streets. And the best compliment you can give Jack Hurst is he's a football player. Whatever you need him to do, he can get it done on the football field. Just one of those guys, you ask him to do it, and he says, Coach, I'll get it done. Defensively, this is an Archibald team that's allowing under 100 yards, both rushing and passing by an opponent. Starts with Wyatt Ripke, the senior, 64 tackles, five sacks. Hurst with five sacks as well, so he does it on the defensive side of the football. And he's a guy that Jack Downey, the defensive coordinator, very similar to what Coldwater likes to do. They have that one guy that they like to bring on a blitz to pressure the quarterback, and it's usually Jack Hurst. Uh, now, the four guys up front, though, Randy, are going to be so key, right? The defensive lineman. Mason Siegel, David Oregon, Jordan Maskell, and Wyatt Ripke, especially Ripke. If they can apply pressure to this passing game by rushing four and dropping seven into coverage to stop that great passing game, the Harlemet brothers outside, it's going to go a long way for Archibald winning this game. Yeah, one thing we didn't talk about with Coldwater was uh, their secondary. Welsh with six interceptions as they got 13 as a team, but this Archibald secondary just as good. One guy we still haven't talked about, Stephen Diller, the senior, four interceptions. You got Miller with four interceptions as well. It's going to be pretty good. A chess matchup between the receivers and the secondaries for each team today. Uh, both teams match up extremely well against each other it is going to be a fun matchup well, let's take a look at our keys to the game for this one tonight as we get set for this huge regional quarter final partner let's take a look keys to the game tonight for the cold water Cavs. and number one don't do it don't don't do it right don't kick the ball deep to archbold because they return it for touchdowns jack hurst 50 yards every time he returns it two returns for a td chase miller one return for a td a 30 yard average just don't do it don't tempt fate number two screen stopper archibald loves to run a middle screen with lucas dominic when they are in trouble stop that have one guy assigned to it and then confuse with mo movement it's a very good offensive line for archibald move guys around defensively make sure they don't know who's coming on the pass rush to confuse them 
And about bet some uh, keys of the game tonight for the Archibald Blue Streaks. Yeah, number one, no H-bombs. Well, what's a H-bomb? Well, that's a Harlem bomb. Don't let them get vertical. It's tough to do. A.G. and Braylon, they are really good. 19 touchdown receptions this year for those two. And number two, win the rush battle. they got to run the football, control the clock, keep that explosive cold water team on the sideline. Plus, you're now beating them up, and that takes us to number three. Everyone is fast until you get hit. Number six and number four for uh, Coldwater, the Harlem brothers are really fast, really quick, right? But you know what slows down speed? Getting hit, wearing them down. You get hit enough, you slow down. These two do have a little bit of playoff history against each other. My partner remembers the lone match of these two have. It was uh, a game in the 2019 playoffs in the opening round, won by Archibald 27 to 21. Why is that important? Well, it was a... Uh, Touchdown and with no time left to give the Blue Streaks the win. Yeah, down. Elijah Zimmerman uh, just went up and played basketball, boxed out his man. DJ Newman found him in the end zone, and everybody in blue and gold were celebrating, going out of their minds. Did that game here with uh, Kevin Milliken, and we lost our minds as well. Cold night, but that was a hot moment for Archibald. Well, tonight's matchup can be about half as good. I think we will be in for a treat. As, uh, you saw the... Opening kick go through the end zone, so the Blue Streaks are going to take over at their own 20-yard line. Well, smart decision early by Coldwater. If you can kick it in the end zone, don't let Archibald return it. You're in good shape. Runner's Runner looking to throw on first down. Jones. Long throw coming to the near sideline where the pass is caught. Cavalier tackled by AJ He's out to Parliament. Chase Miller. Miller will be a couple yards shy of a first down. Great design Again, coming out play, early. Just a little hitch up comeback. Miller got to respect his speed. He's a big play receiver. Coldwater playing off. Take that free yardage with an easy throw. Get your quarterback settled in. Just underway here in our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring Lucas your Dominic indoors out. Here. Lucas Dominic trying to get the first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short. And it's going to be third and one. Now those linebackers and defensive line were pinching hard for Coldwater. A really good work up front by Troy Mulligan. Tough to get underneath Troy him. Five seven two twenty five. The, the, the nose tackle really low to the ground. Blew that Last play up. Big third down and short down. early for Archibald. Now third and one as Archibald needs to get right to the thirty yard line. They're sitting about a yard short. They have that shotgun look with Brenner. So the handoff Lucas again Dominic going to Walker. Dominic this time. He will have the first down as he'll back his way across the 30 to about the 31-yard line. Yeah, really good vision That'll by for the Lucas Dominic Andrew right there. Jones. You see just a glimpse of why he's a first-team all-NWOL player. Started towards the strong side and then bounced it back when he saw his That's center, the Brian Burroughs, make the block, the cut back, good vision, gets the first down. The One line. of the things we talked about in our pregame was Coldwater was uh, – allowing just 28% of third down, so big one there. As here's Brenner rolling out in a little bit of trouble, so just going to throw this one away. With the a really well defended. Coldwater brought some pressure, Coldwater picked up Cavalier. by the offensive line, but they had max protection in, only three guys out in the route. A lot of guys in coverage, nobody there. Brenner, wise decision to throw it away. It's going to bring up second and ten. So about a minute and a half gone by here in our opening drive. A little tight formation, a little razzle-dazzle early on here. to Chase Miller get to the outside. And it looks like he's going to have enough of the first down. <laughs> Breaking out the razzle-dazzle early. First my partner and then the play call. I love the quick little reverse, but how about the move right there by Miller to get himself free for the yardage? Yeah, they got it. Uh, nine to the 40. Needed to get to the 41. Third down try is going to be real close. I'm not sure he got it. And it's because of Cody Depwig, number 25, the big time linebacker of Coldwater. He saw the ball in the belly and he flew up in a hurry. Are they going to measure this? Yeah, it's what it appears. Needed to get across the 40 to the 41. Need to get close to that hash mark. If we can show a replay of that, I, I will show you a linebacker that fills gaps in a hurry. That was Cody Depweg that just blew that up in a hurry. And I think they're going to be a little bit short. Stretching the chains, the and that is, is exactly is how short. short they are. You see it right there. Inches. It'll be fourth and uh, one you go or you punt. Looks like they're going to send the punt unit out. 
fourth down. I know David Dominic, the head coach and play caller. Went, oh, I think they are going to go. They're bringing Jack Hurst in at quarterback. He Hurst. loves he loves a gamble. Need about half a yard. They need to get to that next hash mark at the 41. Well, at least they're going to line up in it and try to draw them off. And we see a lot of movement. Flags are going to come out here. And who flag on the play. got who to jump? Well, this might surprise you. Both sides are pointing towards foul. each other. False start. Archibald. And this might change what Archibald elects to do. The penalty will send the punt team out on the field. Well, by the offensive line moving, that tells you they they were going to go for it, right? They had a play, and it looked like it was going to be a lead with Hurst going over that right hand side. If you're cold water, remember that because that situation is going to come up later. AJ Hallamert back for the Cavaliers. AJ Hallamert is deep for the Cavs inside his own 30. Ripke's going to send this one away. Bit of a wobbler. This one's going to hit. Takes an archival bounce right to Harlemer. AJ Harlemer. And he's going to get out across the 30 before he is brought wide. down. That is where the Cavs will start their also opening there possession for the of the night. Geller. It'll be first and ten, Cavaliers. Well, you wonder if that false water. start might have been a helpful thing for Archibald. Can you imagine if they'd not down. gotten it and you put cold water on your own 40? Uh, the things would have been very difficult. Sometimes those false starts takes the head coach uh, off the ledge, right? You're like, oh, okay, now we can punt the football. I wasn't so sure about going for it. Cavs are going to start this one. Their own, looks like their own 32. Come out in a shotgun look as well. They'll come out running the football. Jack Ebbing, a successful one here as they go to Ebbing on Jordan first down. And Jack Evans is going to get out across the 40 to the 41. Yeah, he's going to get a really good block by Depwig to spring him free. Running out of the pistol look. That allows your running back to have better vision because he's getting a handoff so deep. But that offensive line, first play, they came off the ball really fast. Picked up nine there. It's going to bring up second and one just out across the 40-yard line. Blockberger back to the Jack ground. Ebbing, Ebbing needed a yard, stretched this play Eddie out. Yoder and we'll see the where the forward Jack progress is going to be marked at. But early indication is no they're still going to be a little short. Uh, last series when Archibald was on offense, Cody Depwig blew things up by filling in a hurry. Well, Eddie Yoder, number 59 for Archibald, said, you know, I see that. I see what you can do. I can do it too. Eddie Yoder shot the gap, made the play in the backfield. And it's almost identical situation. Third and short here. Another big play heading our way. And no gain as the Archibald defense, like Miles said, stretch that out. Blockberger will go back to the ground. Cody Depwig to with the ball carrier for Depwig, the Depwig, and it looks like he will get enough and that's the for the Lee's famous recipe chicken water. first down. That's first played really well. Cavaliers Oregon makes, makes it in the backfield, but can't make the tackle with first one down. arm. And he got it, but not by much. It's a little bit of an extra effort there by Depwig to get it. Yeah, they're going to give him about two yards to the 43. So our first downs tonight are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. See them in the Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Goldwater's been on the ground just about every play. They'll have their first Bailen passing Oscar attempt of the night going deep downfield. They got a man open to on the AJ far sideline, and this is going to go all touchdown the way for a cold water lumber touchdown. That far sideline to A.J. Harlemer. A.J. Harlemer, the big time or big play receiver for this cold water team. He's going to be held up originally at the line of scrimmage, but he just beats the press, and boy, when he beats it, he beats it by a mile. Talk about fast. That is scary fast because he's beating right. Chase Miller, who's a fast dude indeed. Hollenberg, he can burn. Touchdowns tonight are brought to you by Coldwater Lumber, provided professional and reliable construction services with an experienced staff eager to assist you with your next project. The extra point kick is up and, and the it is good. extra point is up and good as well. So Coldwater able to strike first. They've got a 7-0 lead over Archibald. We'll take a timeout here on WOSF. 7-0, Coldwater able to strike over the top after running 
three straight plays, and there's something you saw here on this touchdown play, Miles. Yeah, it was a little fake inside. That's why you have success running the football, because Miller has the jam, but he's peeking in the backfield, right? He sees that fake on the inside, so we think it might be run, lets the jam go, and that's where Hollimer gets by him, because originally he's fantastic hands on the receiver, but the fake inside just enough to get Hollimer to word the room that he needed. 7 nothing Coldwater on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Streaks get set to have the football for the second time here in the opening quarter. Another deep kick. This one's going to be fielded at about Jack the Hurst three by right Hurst. Trying to get to the outside. Hurst, who's averaging about 50 yards of return, is going to take a hit at the 30. And that's what the streaks will take over. Yeah, don't do it, right? <laughs> You're living dangerously when you kick it deep to Archbold. Hurst gets to the outside, gets a good block right there. A little creative block on the outside, so you're grabbing some jersey. It's okay if they don't call it. And then he delivers. How about my shoulder pad to your face? How's that taste? Jack Hurst fast and physical. So an improvement of about 10 yards from their previous possession. Send a man in motion. It is going to be Hurst. He's going to get the call. On first down, he's going to be suplexed down to the ground. Go belly to back work right there, and there's Depwig again, number 25, just playing out of his mind early in this football game. I can't remember a time where he hasn't been around the football. Archibald having a tough time reaching number 25 on the run game. Pick up a one on the run is going to bring up second and nine. Brenner. Set up a screen, Coldwater recognized it, but a little too late. As it's a good play, it's Lucas Dominic is able to get out across the 40, and he'll have the least famous recipe chicken first down. Now, one of our favorite things to do is run that middle screen, and you said it right, is recognized pretty well, but is blocked extremely well, and a little shiftiness at the end by the smart car to get the first down. Get out across the 40 to the 41, fresh set of downs for the streaks. Already nearing the halfway mark of this fast-moving opening quarter. Brenner looking to throw again, trying to step up. Hey, He's going to deliver to the near sideline pass. Is going to be caught going back to Dominic. It'll be for a short game. Uh, just a little bit of a glimpse how difficult it is against a Mark Bruns defense. It originally showed that they're going to bring five. Everybody bails out. Still able to get close to the quarterback, rushing three, putting eight in coverage. Force Brenner to dump it underneath. It's also a gain of three in that play, bringing up second and seven. This time they'll give inside, fake the end around, and the run will get Archibald out across the 45 by Dominic to about the 46. Yeah, it looked like it was going to spring for more. A counter, one of their favorite run plays here at Archibald, but Jack Ebbing, the linebacker, number 22, stepped forward, took on the block, wrong arm, armed it, kept the outside arm free, made the tackle. It's going to bring up a third and five for the streaks. Brenner fakes it, rolls to that far side, Brenner, and long pass, throw. This one the is going to be juggled and then caught. Taken out of bounds. This play made out in that far side, by, I believe, by Diller. Yeah, Stephen Diller, Gavin smart Zuriga. move, moving your quarterback, and moving the pocket. The gives him some room, <laughs> and Diller catches it twice, but counts it once. Enough down. for the first down, his 11th catch of the year. And Lee's famous recipe chicken first down gets Archibald into Coldwater territory to the 45. Pass the next pass sails a little bit on Brenner. It's going to be incomplete. That first time we saw Archibald use tempo, the gets in the line of scrimmage after a first down because when you go fast, now it's tough for that defense to declare who's that fourth or fifth guy that's coming on rush. It's going to bring up second and 10. Archibald huddles near that. Far hash, as far away from their sideline as they can get. Well, that's the problem by going temporal when it's incomplete, right? You, you have to huddle now, and then you go to the line of scrimmage. It allows the defense to kind of collect themselves. Brenner looking to throw quickly. Okay, Fires Brenner this one incomplete, incomplete through the hands. The and one of the rare times Jack that Jack Hurst has held onto the football. Defensive pressure by A.J. Harlemer. Really good job by Brenner hanging in the pocket to the last second. Free the rusher coming his way. Really good route by Hurst settling in the zone. But 
classic case of running before you have the ball in your hands. Jack Hurst was spinning out towards the sideline to make something happen. It's going to bring up a third and ten. Now, don't be surprised if it gets the fourth and two that Archibald goes for it here. Brenner looking to throw again under pressure. Trying to stay on his feet. Finally, he's going to go down. Looked like he was going to successfully get out of the first wave, but the next group got him. Initially, pretty good protection. He's a step up in the pocket right there. And Brenner tries to stay alive. Really good coverage up field. The quarterback, Brenner, had nowhere to go with it. Just consistent White. pass rush by Ricky. Coldwater to get him to the ground. Yeah, I believe it was Ebbing at first. Number 22 had him uh, around the ankle, and it looked like Brenner was going to be able to get out of trouble. Had he been able to get out, he had Dominic on the sideline that was going to be by himself. It's a loss of six on the play, so fourth and 16 will force Archibald to punt the football where this is going to be down at about down the 24-yard line. Yard line. First and 10, Cavaliers. Well, let's see if Archibald changes what their defensive game plan was. They were going to load the box up, take away the run. Thought they matched up really well on the corners against the receivers. Let's see if they start shadowing and give him some help. Maybe get a safety over top wherever Hollermer lines up. Problem is, though, there's two of them, right? Can't just stop AJ. There's another Hollermer out there that is just as dangerous. Cavs take over at their own 24, up 7-0. On Miles our structure Pot outdoor Cutter Ohio scoreboard is Pot Cutter to get the call here. David on first Oregon, down, that's going to go for a loss. Yeah, David Oregon, Oregon, the big fella, the size of the state, 320 Mason pounds, Siegel. first team defensive uh, lineman in the NWAL, him and Mason Siegel combined on that tackle, and that's a good sign for Archbold. They're getting penetration against that counter run game that Coldwater likes to use. And a loss of a couple at least. We're going to call it second. And about 11, maybe 11 and a half. Now Archibald changing up a look defensively. As Blockberger trying to get rid of the football, and he's just going to shovel this one out of bounds. Waited until the last minute, trying to decide if he was going to tuck it or run, and elected to get rid of it. Yeah, this was a fantastic job by Stephen Diller, number nine for Archibald. He was playing the flat on that coverage. And at one point in time, Blackburger was rolling out of the pocket. It looked as if he was going to come up. And had he come up on the quarterback, there was going to be a window with the receiver behind him. He smartly said, you know what, I'm going to stay in my zone, make the quarterback run for his life. It's going to bring up third and about 11. A huge moment for this Archibald defense. Got to get out with a three and out. And they're just as good as Coldwater. One thing we didn't talk about in our pregame. And that one is going to be intercepted. Just diving in front of the receiver will be Chase Miller with his fifth pick of the year. Yeah, you wonder if it was a choice route and Harlem elected to go a little bit deeper because Miller's playing it extremely well at Chase Miller. A little bit of redemption. Got beat for a touchdown on the last series this time. He says, my fellas. I'll get you to football in good position. Yeah, great field position for the Blue Streaks. They're going to start at the cold water 30. Did you like how he got up and did the universal interception by holding the ball up in the air? How else are the officials supposed to know he had it? Fantastic job, Chase Miller, reading that route. So streaks here with three and a half to go. Lucas From the cold Dominic, water the side of the field, here's Dominic stretching it out. Finally cuts up field. He'll get about five. Yeah, Wyatt Ripke, number 53. You're going to see an offensive lineman continuing Miles to work Potter right here. With the Stretch tackle. zone outside. He's going to latch on a guy right That's there. Allow Dominic to have the patience to bounce back. Great Blue work Street. by Dominic with the vision. Better the work by Ripke on the block. Line. Second and Second five down. coming up here for the Blue Streaks. And I know you like that because it was Andrew Jones that was getting blocked right there for Coldwater, number 68. Guy wouldn't mind blocking out of my memories. The Cubs had trouble against him. Uh, they had trouble in that era against a lot of guys. <laughs> Lucas Dominic is going to get inside the 20. Mason Looks like Wells he'll have enough for another Lee's famous recipe chicken Troy first down. Yeah, that's Andrew Jones down. again right there. Well, Almost made the tackle, fighting through a double team block. Good work by him. Now, I do have to say, you like this Andrew Jones, number 68 for Coldwater. I do, yeah, very, he, very much. He's a nice football player. 
First down at the 19 yard line for the Blue Streaks, trying to tie up this one here late in our opening quarter. Long give there out of Brenner. Finally gave it up to Dominic, who will get a yard or two. I'm not sure what Brenner is reading there. It looked like it was a read give option. Held it in the belly for a long time. Dominic didn't have much area to run. And we also want to tell you that our premier sponsor for Coldwater tonight is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve your bank your way. Second and nine coming up here for the Blue Streaks. Fake to give Brenner looking to throw, looking for the end zone. This one is going to be hauled in and a touchdown for the Blue Streaks. Nathan Juarez in the corner will get the cold water lumber score. I love the design, right? You put everybody to the right-hand side, Juarez by himself, and then he runs a post corner. Just an amazing route. Beats his man like a rented mule. And a better job by Brenner getting out of the pocket, seeing it, and throwing it before the break. Great throw by the quarterback. Better route by the receiver. Now we will see the extra point attempted here. Well, this Roger, one point is, is on its way, good. and it is good as Rudy Roger will knock through the extra point. And we are tied 7 all on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. We'll take a timeout here on WOSF. Well, Archibald able to take advantage of the interception. Four plays, they get into the end zone. Nice little pitch and catch. Kate Brenner hits Nathan Juarez with the 18-yard touchdown pass. And after the extra point, we're knotted up 7-all between Archibald and Coldwater. Oh, what a route by Juarez, wasn't it? Good little head bobs, foot stomp towards the post. Got himself free. Fantastic route running by Archibald receivers here tonight. It'll be Ramirez that does the kicking here. High kickoff. This one is going to be fielded. At about the 15-yard line, here's A.J. Harlemert, who's got a little bit of speed. He's going to get to the outside, cuts it back up, still on his feet, comes across field to the 40, 35-30, puts on the shots, and he is going to get in for the cold water lumber touchdown. Well, sometimes you look at an athlete and you say, should we kick it to him or not? And you say, no, let's not. He is definitely one of those guys. I'll be surprised if they allow him to touch a football the rest of the night on a kickoff. Good blocking on the outside, and then watch him just hit the burst. He beats Gomez to the sideline, and Gomez is a fast dude. He is by far the fastest fella on this field. Great quickness. He gets this outside, puts in the left-hand arm, kind of looks around like nobody's going to catch me, right? And then nothing less to do, partner, but style and profile into the end zone. Right. About a step outside the 15-yard line, so we'll say 84 yards for the kickoff return. They got a great block by number 40, Brady Hamilton, on that cold water sideline to spring him enough. Now Bryce Cushow on to attempt the extra point, and that is up and good. So 14-7, thanks to the cold water lumber touchdown on the 84 yard kickoff return by AJ Harlemert. Want to tell you that our touchdowns tonight are brought to you by cold water lumber, provide professional and reliable construction services with an experienced staff eager to assist with your next project. It's 14 seven on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by structure outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let structure outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Yeah, our broadcast partner at WO said Mark Shine said AJ Harlemert plays at a different speed. He sure does, doesn't he? He's got that lateral quickness. Looks like it there. And then he wastes no time in going from zero to sixty in a hurry. Well, if you're Archibald, you had to be feeling pretty good. You forced the turnover, able to cash it in, tie this one up, and in the span of seconds, you give it all up at the big touchdown return. You're cheer you still. You, you've got Jack right. Hurst. You've Tokyo. done that yeah, to opponents all year long. Yeah, you Cavaliers. just tell Hurst and Miller, hey, get us one back right here if they kick it to you. Well, when A.J. Harmer touches the football, you, you kind of hold your breath, don't you? Well, he, twice tonight, he's got the big uh, touchdown pass and now the kickoff return. Now we'll see what the streaks will do. This one's going to be fielded inside the five. First is going to try to match it. He's going to be tripped up just across the 20-yard line. It'll be 
Kolar, very fortunate that this tackle is made right here on the left hash because first is full throttle, and he gets to that sideline, and there is nobody in purple or orange and white on the outside. I think it was Miles Potcotter that made the tackle number 24. If it is, fantastic work to get Hurst to the ground. Now they're going to mark him back at the 21-yard line, so what looked like could have been big play for the streaks. Set them up here. They'll come out trailing again by a score. Brenner looking to throw on first down. Has a man open. Gets this one out. As he will go to Broden Piercefield. Piercefield will have these famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, great recognition. They, they're staring at the receivers like it's going to be man, but it's actually a cover three behind it. Corner gets run off by Hurst. Opens up that flat, free yardage. Nice little timely throw by Brenner. They picked up 13 on the play. It's a first down out of the 34-yard line. Brenner with the pressure coming. He's able to get rid of this one quickly. And this one's going to be caught for another of these famous recipe chicken first down. Uh, so what the RPO allows you to do, the inside fake, you have a man coming free on the outside. Well, that's great, but it means there's a zone that is open. The slat on the zone read RPO look. Next thing you know, you got another first down. Take what the defense allows you to have. Archbold, efficient offense early in this drive. 13 yards that time to Chase Miller will set them up at their own 47. Brenner. This Lucas time Dominic the handoff the is to Lucas Dominic. He'll be tripped up right near midfield. Now how about the block by Ripke? The right tackle, number 53, just took his man, drove him about four yards, and pancaked him. That's some physical stuff. This Archibald run game doing just enough to keep Coldwater having to worry about the run game. Picked up a couple there. We're going to call it second. And about eight, be closer to seven. And that will be the end of our and first quarter play. And that's also going to be the opening play, uh, or the final play of the opening quarter. So 14-7, Coldwater leads this one after one. We'll take a break here at WOSF. 14-7, Coldwater lead over Archibald after one quarter of play. We've had... Uh, a little bit of everything First so far, partner. Score, just uh, uh, about everything we hoped this one would be after 12 minutes. Of yeah, explosives, right? There's all been all kinds of them. AJ Harmer showing exactly why people say he is a fantastic Lucas football Dominic player. Because he is. Opening play of the second quarter will be a run by Lucas Dominic as he'll get a couple of yards at least. Looks like to about the 46. It's been a clean game also, right? We've only seen one flag. They've all started against Archibald on the opening drive. Since then, it's been really clean. The run actually went for a little bit more, about four. It's going to set up a third down, third and about three, just shy of the 45-yard line. Dominic's one of those runners, Coldwater's linebackers. Got to make sure you don't over-pursue. He is quick enough to hit that, that little gap behind you on a cutback route, score big time. Lucas Brenner with that quick Walker. pitch to Dominic, who's able to cut up field, and it looks like he's going to have just enough for the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, kind of what I'm talking about right here. So let's go outside. It's defended well, but he has the ability to plant and get vertical. Enough quickness and shiftiness. And gets his foot in the ground, gets that first down. He is a tough runner. First guy never brings him down. Picked up four when they needed three. Just enough to move the sticks. As Archibald will have it at Coldwater Territory. That's Cav 42. And Coldwater late aligning to the formation. Here's Hurst playing quarterback now. He's going to throw. Has a man middle of the field. This one's going to be hauled in. And Miller's going to walk his way in for the Coldwater Lumber touchdown. Oh, Chase Miller's a big play machine. So is Jack Hurst. How about the throw? You haven't thrown a football all night long. Great design by David Dominic. Hurst in that quarterback. They love to run power sweep and power lead with them. Oh, what do you do? You stop, play action, throw over the top. The post is there. Chase Miller, I don't know what his bench is, but it's strong enough to push defenders off. Big time touchdown, Chase Miller. And again, we'll see Rudy Roger on to attempt the extra point as Archibald 
Looks to tie this one up again as the Roger kick is on its up, way, and, it and the kick is good. So Archibald able to put together an impressive six-play drive. It ends with a 42-yard touchdown pass as Chase Miller hauls it in from Jack Hurst. We're tied at 14 all. We'll take a break here in WOSN. 14 all. Archibald comes back with a big touchdown pass. As the streaks in a cold water tied for the second time tonight. Yeah, how about David Dominic, the head coach and play caller here at Archbold? Oh, what a great design to get his team two touchdowns first on the post corner on the roll, and that time Jack Hurst, the guy that can do it all for this Blue Streak team. Deep kick, this one's going to bounce and hit into, into the end into zone. The end zone. So, first good job by Cavaliers Ramirez to do what he was asked to do. Yeah, still kind of dangerous, right? Barely got in the end zone. Harlemberg goes back and toe taps that and gets it. I'm scared to death if I'm on special teams for Archbold. Uh, but good job uh, pinning him in where he doesn't get a return. I would make sure all night long from here on out that Harlemberg does not get an opportunity to return a kick. I just want to tell you that the premier sponsor for Coldwater tonight is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities. We serve your bank your way. Coldwater come out running the football stretch Braylon play. That's going to be read by Archibald. Just nowhere to go for Braylon Arlemert. Uh, it's going to be Diller and Hurst arriving. Uh, Stephen Diller, second team, NWAL defensive back. I like to see the guys that are in front of him because he's as good as all of them. Flies up that time to strong safety. Big time hit. Anytime you can get a Arlemert easy in the backfield before he gets going, that's a good move. Plus two in the play is going to bring up second and 12. Blockberger in that shotgun. A three-man look up front because of the five wide by Coldwater. Rolls out. And was able to tuck it. Makes the first defender miss, but won't make the second. As a good tackle in the open field is going to be made there by Stephen Get Diller. Yeah, Stephen Diller does a good job. You'll see him down here in the It'll flat. Gets hands on the receiver, Harlemer. And then he's going to see the quarterback down. roll out. Now this is a mismatch right here. Blackburger versus Siegel, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll athletes him with a little yoit and double yoit. But Stephen Diller says two-point takedown. I'll, I'll shoot the legs. Blackburger does pick up a yard, so it's going to bring up third and 11. You gotta love Siegel though. He was flying out to the flat. Like I'm gonna light this quarterback up. Next thing you know, he's by you. Blockberger looks to throw again. A little bit more pressure. Rolls out, still with it. Waits as long as he can, and Bailey, once again will throw this one away. The up front pressure for the coaches wanted to call. Are they looking for grounding? Brian. Yeah, watch Ripke on the outside, also 53, hey, looking for a hold there. Arm under, almost gets the leg of Blockburger. Blockburger, really smart decision. He is hemmed in. Don't step out, just throw it away. Save yourself some field position. And for the first time tonight, we're going to see Coldwater punt the football. The streaks are going to take a timeout here. Yeah, I wonder if they didn't have the personnel that he wanted on the field. They're first. And call the timeout. You can't waste the timeout in the first half, partner. So take one right there. You see the change in personnel now inside the huddle. I wonder if they're also talking about maybe bringing some pressure. To try to block a kick. Looking for an opportunity. Can't imagine you'd think Coldwater would think deep in their own territory. Early on in this I was uh, at practice yesterday. They have about 20 fakes in. Oh, so they have their choice if they want ticket, one. Three, but yeah, nine, two, I think you play field position two. here. This would be kind and of a, a real Matt surprise. Oh, that's when you want to do it, right? Three, 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 when you surprise them? Nine, yeah, not, eight, eight, ideally, seven, not inside your own 20, though. But you'd be surprised. Everybody would be surprised. That would be. That's. Let's see what the Cavs do here. Maybe on fourth and one. But fourth and 11, no. Owen Kunk on to punt. Send this one away. Bit of a wobbler. Miller's going to let this one hit. Because Juarez nearly accidentally touched it. It's going to be down to just on the Archman side of the 50-yard line. Yeah, so everybody has a call 
And Miller used it right there to let Juarez know that the ball's near him. You better get away, right? It's either Peter Peter or a fire or whatever you designate and you practice it. Once that ball hits, you let the guys know that can't see the football that's on the ground rolling around. Don't let it hit you. Streaks in good field position here under nine to play in our opening half. They're going to take over at their own 47. Design run Jack on the first Hurst time this down Walker. with Hurst at quarterback. He's Jack gonna be tripped up. A nice play. Cutting through Mason making the stop Welch. there is Mason Welch. Yeah, Mason Welch. What a playmaker That's he has been for Coldwater all play. year long. You said I highlighted well, earlier 78 tackles by a guy in the secondary, six interceptions. And the thing that is so important about Mason Welch is he is the quarterback on defense. He lines everybody up. He recognizes formations. His communication skills are almost as good as his tackling skills. Loss of about a yard and a half. Officially still second and 11 just outside the 45-yard line. Brenner back in the quarterback. They're going to try to set up the screen to... Chase Miller. Miller's going to get into Coldwater territory before he is taken down. They're trying to run the gel break to the left hand side. Played pretty well. Miller doesn't go back to the middle of the field because it's played well by that defensive Coldwater. He tries to get up the sideline. Turns a little something into a big something. Now a workable third down. They'll pick up about eight on the play. It's going to bring up third and three. Are you sure? Because look at that line. It looks like maybe. Third and six. Another late handoff, but a, a successful one, at least on the handoff, it's not successful in getting the first down. As Brenner again kind of held that out as long as he Tackle, could to Dominic. Yeah, I think there's no decision time at all. You see David Dominic right there giving his play to his quarterback, Kate Brenner. Definitely four down territory they're going to go. The, the run picked the, up uh, about two to the 44. Water, 40, four and a half yard line, fourth down. So it is going to be fourth and about a yard and a half or so. Play clock at 10. Run right out of it, Jack going Hurst back to Hurst. Hurst trying to get to the outside. He's going to take a hit. His body is going to contort sideways. And judging from at least the far official, he's going to be a little shy of the first down. Yeah, pretty Cavaliers. good job outside. Look at all the white jerts, uh, shirts recognizing it. And it's going to be Miles Potcotter that comes up and makes the play, denying that first down. He's going to be short. That's going to be Coldwater football. What a great defensive play by Coldwater, and they needed it in a big way. Well, because we ask for drama on television, they are going to bring the chains all the way across the field. I'll be shocked if this is a first down. I am certain that Coldwater did a great job. Pot Cotter flying up. We're going to have a terrible angle to see it. Let's watch Diller's reaction. He'll tell you. Yeah. See, Go look at that one. You see the Coldwater the defense Coldwater on the field. Cavaliers. They knew it. First and 10 Cavaliers. So uh, Archibald is going to be stuffed on a fourth down. And they're going to give the ball up to Coldwater here. Just under seven to go before we get to halftime. Now, I know they didn't get it, but I like the decision, don't you? I mean, being aggressive, you had some going on offense, your momentum's been with you, your team's playing hard, give yourself a chance. I think the decision was a wise one by David Dominic, even though they didn't get it. Yeah, I agree with you on that. It's something to, you needed something to spark yourself. You're in a tight game, but you've really been kind of trailing. Yeah, right. Most of the night, give something, put yourself up in front. Coldwater's going to take over at their own 43. As the officials are going to remark the football. Now you see Dominic down the bottom of your screen working the side official. Probably saying, hey, give us a little better spot that time, will you? It's <laughs> Coldwater will take over. All right, keep an eye. Top side of your screen. Look how wide the formation is for Coldwater. A little bit of a pistol look. They'll run Eric out of Ebbing, it. Ball Trying to go to Ebbing, and he is going to be stuffed for Mason a small Siegel loss. Yeah, Mason Siegel, number also 70, knives in there. Straight. They've done a really good job of this cold water run game since the Steven first series. Deller. Mason Siegel said he allows me fun of me against the quarterback Cavaliers. earlier. The I can make a tackle water. in the backfield. I'll get this one. Line, nice job, down. Mason Siegel. Loss of one on the play is going to bring up second and 11. Good luck there, head coach Chip Otten of the uh, Cavs. 
Yeah, what a good dude. I absolutely love visiting with him, going to practice. He is just the friendliest guy. Some coaches aren't so friendly, believe that or not. Chip Otten, a good, as good as you get. Guy that's uh, taken full advantage of uh, social media and the uh, day and age of technology. Uh, Blockberger looking to throw. He's going to roll out. He's got plenty of room. Now his receivers are going to turn into blockers ahead of him as he'll get just shy of midfield. Uh, looks like this was going to be a screen. 48-yard line. Yeah, he looks back. Oh, he's going to be the wheel route. The Harlemick coming up the sideline uh, is well defended. For the Cavaliers. And this is a third wise down. decision right here. He doesn't throw the football because there's going to be a lineman upfield. So he just tucks it under and gets as much what he could. We have a time Makes it work for third and five. Scramble goes for six. A timeout, big third down coming water. up here. But before we get it, Coldwater wants a timeout, so we'll take one as well here on WOSN. A third down coming up here for Coldwater. Partner, there's something that you saw on that previous play you want to talk about. Yeah, watch number 78. I believe it's David Oregon right here. He's going to come through the middle, forces the quarterback out, and someone's going to try and block him. He says, nope, no, you're not. (laughs) He just runs him right over. Oh, that is a lot of weight. That was Kale Wenning that is trying to get in front of him. He just used him as a speed bump. David Oregon is a big dude and apparently a strong one also. Third down, this is kind of an extended timeout. Now the officials will break it up, kind of like basketball. And they officials kind of let them go. Then, all right, all right let's get back at it. The 30-second uh, timeout turns into about 90. Now, are you excited about the rule change in basketball with the free throws? Um, It'll take a little bit of time to get used to. Yeah, it'll take about half the season before people yeah. stop asking. About might have to explain that to everyone uh, when we get into hoop season. The one-and-one one is a thing no more. So the Archibald coaches kind of directing traffic as the third down pass is going to be ruled incomplete. Trying to get this one to A.J. Harlemer. Chase, uh, Chase Miller is taking things personal Harlemer. against A.J. Harlemer. No He's going to cover him really well Ready right here. This is going to be a play line. side where they're going to run the bubble to Harlemer, the other side, and then try to hit behind it on a slant. Well covered by Archibald. Blackburger comes Lying back, tries to find A.J., but Chase Miller says no Chase way, Miller not today. Cavs are going to punt this one away. They'll play the field position game just shy of midfield. Owen Kunk on for the second time tonight. Bit of a low snap, but he's able to field this one. This one will hit and take a sideways bounce. Comes back a little bit. Coldwater's going to down it at about the 26-yard line. That smart play, picking it up, handing it to the official. Don't want to touch it and then run away, expecting it to be down because then Archibald can still return it. Uh, Well schooled by Coldwater. It's been a lot of fun so far, hasn't it? It's been a good game. We talked about this is only the second round, so you can uh, say what you want about the expanded playoffs, who should be in, who shouldn't be in, but the under the old rules, this would have been an opening round game. Yeah, it's still a good game. You don't find a six seed Lucas like Coldwater very the often. So Dominic gets the run here Miles on first Hunt down Potter, the from the 26-yard the line. Mark is going to bring him down after a gain of a couple. Yeah, Coldwater doing a really good job of also getting off of blocks. Andrew Jones, Troy number Milligan 68 right Coldwater. there. Again, the initial the push the is being won by Archbold. You see the little move, movement, oh, the but they're shedding blocks Wayne, up front really well. Line, second, down. second and eight from the 28. Let's see Brenner in the shotgun again. Okay, Go to the far sideline. This one is caught as he Pierce finds Field. Pierce Field once Back again, and he'll have the Lee's famous rescue Cavins chicken first down. down. Yeah, second time they've uh, used this concept. This uh, hitch up right at the sticks. They'll come Vincent back Dan route. From their own the timing is fine. fantastic. Down. Kate Brenner lets it go before his receiver first field even turns out towards the sideline. And Kate Brenner, when he throws in rhythm, he is as good as anyone. A pickup of uh, 11. First down to the 39. Brenner. Okay, Brenner send this man here. out. Now he's going to keep this one in a good run. One thing Miles Brenner doesn't Hunter. do a whole lot is keep the football, Ripke but a good decision there. there. Yeah, Ripke gets the, the kick out block. This is an old well. DJ Newman play. He used to run this a ton. 
when D.J. Newman was their quarterback, you're going to think that you're going to run the speed option, get the defensive patrol outside quickly, then cut back inside. Gain of eight on the play is going to bring up second and two. Brenner looking to throw again. He's going to come back the other side of the field. This one's going to be incomplete. Had a receiver moving that way in Dominic. Yeah, that thing happened, though. Jack Ebbing, the linebacker, number 22. He knows how important Dominic is to the passing game. 23 passes on the year they've thrown to Dominic. Ebbing reads it. It was going to be a roll to the left and a throwback back to Dominic. But film study, Jack Ebbing. He's a student of the game, says, you know what, Uh uh-uh, not today, not on my watch. I'm not falling for that. Now the third down coming up. It's going to be third and about two. A long discussion here by the officials. Uh, Making sure that, well, first of all, I think they're making sure maybe did the throw get back to the line of scrimmage. Chip Otten sitting next to the uh, yard marker there. Officials having a long discussion. Still discussing. Yeah, maybe they're talking about will L.A. Daly Cruz for the Reds be the best player in Reds history at some point in time? Ooh, that's possible. Because you can't tell me they, they talk just football, right? <laughs> and they're going to... Either wave off a flag that was thrown or let everyone know that there wasn't going to be a flag. Chip Otten does not like to call. You see him working the official on his sideline. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. The throw didn't get to the the line of scrimmage. So they were going to call intentional grounding, but waved it off. Back to where we started at third and two. He's to give to Hurst, trying to cut up field. He's going to have nowhere to go as he's going to be brought oh, down exactly by a group by of white jerseys. Uh, Miles Potcotter, you're going to see him just show up in a hurry right there. Number 24, he's going to get involved along with a big tackle. Will Berry making a tackle. That's running from the inside. Will Berry, great effort. Fourth down, looks like they're going to go. The yeah, Archwell very quickly got to the line. We'll see what they try to do. Are they going to let this run down? Or may, then they might decide to try to quick kick this one out. Movement up front again. Second time we've seen Archibald do that. Archibald players, of course, saying that they were drawn offside by Coldwater. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a false start. Yep, there it Football is. Ball foul, illegal procedure to call against the Blue Streak. Now left-hand side of the line. They're going to go with the old quick kick punt. You saw First back up two yards to punt it. Now they're going to bring out the regular punt game. Yeah, second time Archibald has had to change their mind on fourth down Wyatt because of a penalty. For the Blue Streets, deep Wyatt for Ripke will the now send the football Harlemer. away. Ripke will roll out, sends a wobbler that hits at the 30 but right into the waiting hands of Harlemert, who will go down as that Blue one is going to be covered. Late Lawrence. flag coming in about 15 yards away from the action. So we'll see what this is all about. Now I'm wondering if it's going to be hands to the back or a block we in the back. We have a flag on the play. Usually that's the indication when the flag is thrown right there, but really good job by Juarez hemming in Harlemert. Yeah, hands. Holding will be the call against the Cavaliers on the punt. So they'll be backed up a little bit after the punt. I don't know if you're Coldwater and Chip Otten, who calls the plays and a head football coach over there, you're backed up in your own end. It's 14-14, only about 328 left. You're at a tough spot. You don't want to throw the ball a lot and throw incompletions and Archibald gets the ball back in great field position. You really haven't been able to run the football here of late. Coldwater's going to start this one after the penalty at their own 10-yard line. See what they do with uh, Blockberger, who's been in a shotgun most of the night. They'll throw out of this one. It's complete to that far sideline. As 
it is Mason, Mason Welsh that's going to come up with that one. Now, kind of the forgotten uh, guy in this offense, isn't he? 33 Mason catches Juarez for 469 yards and five It'll TDs. And four so much attention and talk go to the Harlem Rock Merck brothers. You forget about Mason, but as you can see, a good route runner right there. Timing concept to get your quarterback back on schedule. Pick up a five is going to bring up second and five. Blackburgers pass. We get rid of this one. As Braylon Harlemert somehow stayed on his feet and he's able to fight forward for a couple of yards. Not a two yard completion, but boy, it was exciting, wasn't it? Pick inside. Look at Hurst. He comes free on the blitz, doesn't give up on the play. He's going to get involved all the way back outside after coming free on a blitz. Helps finish off with Chase Miller. Those two are having themselves a heck of a game defensively. He'll get three yards officially to the 18, or it's going to bring up third and two. Coldwater would love to keep this moving. Just over two minutes Taylor to go. It's a pass middle of the field. That one in a double coverage is going to be incomplete. A.J. Harlembert, a little hard on himself thinking he was going to haul in this one. Yeah, throws a little bit behind him, but one that Harlembert usually comes up with. You see him punch the ground in disappointment, but Eddie Yoder and Chase Miller combined on the hit. I think if it's a little bit more on target, it's going to be first down. Third consecutive time. Coldwater's gone three and out tonight. They'll punt the football away. Just over two minutes left to go on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Looks like Archibald's coming after it. Get a little bit of pressure. Nice high punt. Miller's going to call for a fair Jay catch, and he'll make it the on the cold water side of the field. Jack Reitman did a great job as the gunner outside for Coldwater. Got as close as he could to Miller to make it a tough catch. Partner, have you ever done that? It is extremely tough to catch a punt on a fair catch with a guy screaming in your face and getting I, that close. That's got to be one of the toughest things. It yeah, is no way. It is incredibly tough. I've been told. I was a lineman. I never found out, but I was told that's extremely tough to do. I tried out as the punter, never the punt returner. <laughs> well, they're back on the 47-ish, mm -hmm. right? See what streaks can do with 2.07 to play before halftime. Brenner looking to throw, slipped a little Dave bit as Brenner well, lays this one out middle of the field, the and that one's gonna be caught. Yeah, another great concept. Watch the outside receiver clear out the corner, and then you're going to run the wheel behind it. The corner is gone because the vertical took him out of that zone, and you're going to run behind it. A great concept against a cover three look. First will now cook it. 24 yards for the Lee's Recipe Chicken first down as they go to win. So Arch will go in a little bit deeper into the receiver core. Here is Dominic on a good run, and that will be saved by Austin Hamilton as that could have gone for big yard. Uh, Hamilton comes up big time because this is going to be a touchdown. Just gets that single leg takedown. Correction, Gavin Zabrita, number two with the stop. Well, Zabrita, great Lucas job. Dominic, the ball carrier. Dominic again will get it. Picked up eight, trying to go on the ground quickly, and it looks like they will have the least famous recipe chicken first down. Now, your offensive line, when they get a little bit of rhythm and you're getting yards on the ground, they want you to continue to run. You saw Brian Burles right there, number 54 to center. Look to the sideline, give a little flex, like, Coach, let's keep running the football. This is fun. Yeah, it is fun when you're you're moving people off the line of scrimmage. Yeah, gain of four of the play is going to bring up first and ten from the 11. Yeah, they got a great matchup up top, Harlemer against Miller. Long handoff Lucas once Dominic again. Dominic carrier. inside will get to about the nine. And Austin Hamilton, who you called a second Andrew ago, Jones he must have said, tackle. yeah, I need to make a tackle. He threw up that time, made the tackle timeout number seven. Timeout on the field called by the Blue Streak. Timeout Archibald. So Archibald's going to use a timeout. Streaks down under a minute left to go. Have uh, one remaining now. I, I go back to that same look. You got Miller with a height advantage against Harlemer, right? Go ahead and throw it to the back corner. Let your big receiver, Miller, go try and catch it. It's a great matchup. If it falls incomplete, you're okay. But don't get down here and not take a shot into the end zone at least. That's one of my favorite things to do. When you get close enough, make sure you throw it across that goal line for an opportunity. So we've had a good one here in Archibald so far. 
Streaks trying to take the lead for the first time tonight. I see both both coordinators. Well, David Dominic, head coach and play call caller there, working his guys. And you see Mark Bruns, defensive coordinator. He's really working his secondary, telling them exactly what to anticipate. See if he dials up a little outside pressure and plays some zone behind it. Second down coming up following the timeout. Archibald loves a run gimmick and trick plays out of timeouts or change of possessions. Let's see if that is what they do here. Brenner's going to roll out now. Sets, fires, hey, looking for the end zone. He's going to throw this one out the blink. back. Didn't like what he saw there, just threw it away. Yeah, went with that post corner look the that they scored that their first Jones. touchdown on. Did not work because the coverage was there. Zone big time, trying to keep everything in front. Well read by Coldwater. It's going to bring up third down just inside the 10 yard line. That was uh, Bailey, number six, that they're trying to hit. I like that though. Took a shot in the end zone. Bad coverage, get a free score. Third and eight now. Streaks can get a first down without scoring for what it's worth. They're looking for the touchdown here. Brenner trying to get rid of the football. It's in the air. It's going to be intercepted. Never felt the pressure coming from behind. The ball is coughed up, and it's Deppling. It's going to come away with it. Let's see who gets the pressure. Yeah, it's going to be a free rusher from the outside. I think the ball is flying out as he's bringing it up to pass it. Yeah, the pressure down, being applied by Jack Ebbing, who we have called his name over and over again tonight. And then Depweg, a guy that has made nothing but big plays all year long for Coldwater. Johnny in the spot yet again. So we will officially call that an interception, but much like you, it's tough to tell. Was that a fumble that kind of popped up? Yeah, the arm it was odd. Forward? Maybe we're going to look at it, but it did look like the ball flew out of his hand as he was bringing up to throw it, but... And hats off to Coldwater, bringing pressure to make the quarterback make a mistake. At any rate, Cavs are going to have it with 39 seconds to go. Tied at 14, thrown 15-yard line. They're going to go for the home run ball. Oh, this one downfield. This one's going to be caught. A.J. Harlemert. As A.J. Harlemert is going to haul this one in. Cavs with, I believe, two timeouts. They will use one here. The yeah, why not, right? Take a shot. Sudden change opportunity. And it's this Harlemer going up between two two defensive backs. Oh, he is one heck of a receiver. It's like a magnet. Goes up, fights between. Goes, comes down with the football. Nice little vertical. That was Juarez that he beat and Gomez that he beat to go up and get that catch. Big time play for Coldwater. Yeah, 39 yards, and now they're in business. On the Archibald side of the field, the 46-yard line with 32 seconds left before halftime. So when you're thinking that maybe Coldwater's just happy to run this out, go into the locker room tied, now with their weapons, you're looking at a possible score here. Yeah, why wouldn't you throw it to Harlem Hurt, right? This, hey, next play, you just go long. We'll throw as far as we can. You got to jump five guys, come down with the football, then run exactly, by everybody. Exactly as they drew it up, right? <laughs> That's right. He's one of those receivers, though, you might have to, if you're a DB coach, grab some jersey a little bit, right? They're not going to call it all night long. You do what you have to to, to slow him down. So Coldwater set up on the Archibald side of the field to 46 now with 32 seconds to go before we get to halftime. Blockberger in the shotgun. Balaam, Sets up screen. That one is nearly intercepted. Gets this one in the middle of the AJ field. There's A.J. Harlemer again bouncing to the outside. Has a blocker. He's going to go down at Chase about the 22. Miller, Looks like he might have given himself up to give Goldwater an opportunity to another play. And the clock will stop because the chains will move. But, oh, look at Burroughs. Almost got a hand on it. Harlemer quickness to get around that defense. Great call on the jailbreak. Rolling to the right and thrown back to the left. And Blockberger's Bailing. just going to spike this one. Downing the ball. Second down here at the 22. 14 seconds to go. Coldwater still has a timeout. Yeah. Now we're going to take another look at that play. There it is right there. He spiked it. A great replay, Ken Reeker. I love it. 
I think this is one we wanted. This is going to be the throwback screen, the rollout block burger. Then uh, look at the Ooh, oh, it was, was tipped. tipped. It was tipped by Burroughs. Shows you the athleticism of Harlemert. And getting back to live action, Blockberger under pressure is going to run right into a sack. And that's going to be a big way for Archibald to come up with a stop. Coldwater is going to have to use a timeout. As that was, I believe, Brian Burroughs who's going to bear hug Blockberger and bring him down. Yeah, Burroughs kept working, kept working. Didn't chase too hard. Let the quarterback come back to him. Makes the play when he gets there. Yeah, hey, Blockberger can't take a sack there, right? Throw it away. Short completion. Now you're working a little bit more close to a field goal opportunity, but a sack there takes you out of it. No more timeouts. Six seconds left on the clock. Uh, everybody, everybody knows what's going to happen here, right? Yeah, third and 16. I think you've got just uh, with six seconds, you're just looking to chuck this one into the end zone. Yeah, you got to throw it in the end zone. You're not going to get two plays with six seconds. Even if you do, you throw a three-yard hitch. It doesn't help you get a closer for a field goal, getting a better range. Got to get to about the 20 for them to have a really good opportunity at a field goal. So seven seconds now back on the clock. You got to throw it in the end zone. But if you are Archbold, make sure you have two guys on number six. Maybe two more on number four just for good measure. All right. Just put everybody on everybody. Archibald's going to back up at least a little bit defensively. They going empty. It looks like Archibald's going to rush through drop eight. Blockberger looks they to throw. It does Blockberger go to the sideline. It's going to be dropped. And it's going to be bring a fourth down with three Lafayette. seconds left. Oh, you know what the problem was? It was too easy. Right, look at this one. Harlem uh, is going to settle up the at the stick. Got it. Easy football right there. He's trying to get out of bounds. It's just an easy catch. Coach, I'm just used to tough ones. Give me a tougher one next time. Yeah, I, was, I believe Brady Layfeld, number eight, couldn't hang on to that one. Now on fourth down, Coldwater will see what they can do here. This has only been the opening half. There's still two more quarters yet. They've been fantastic. Fakes the handoff in case anyone was buying that. Puts this one up towards the corner. That one's going to be incomplete. Chase Miller right there to knock it away from Mason Welch. And that's how our first half will end. Uh, great recognition by Miller. Drifted to the inside just a little bit, but had the vision to see that Mason Welch was coming up the sideline and goes up in high points. And what do you do there? You knock it down. That's what they did. 14 all between Archibald and Coldwater. We're at the half. We'll have the second half for you after this here on WOSN. Halftime here from Blue Streak Stadium in Archibald. 14 all between Archibald and Coldwater in this Division 5 Region 18 Regional Quarterfinal. Second round game, if you will. Winners are going to move on and play at uh, sites to be determined next week. Winner this one's going to get either uh, Oak Harbor or I'm sorry, I got the wrong part of my bracket. Edison or Eastwood. We showed the bracket in our pregame. I'm Randy, that's Miles. We expected a good one tonight here, and that's exactly what we've gotten. And uh, some announcer on our crew, not named Miles, had too much free time on his hands and uh, was in the middle of jotting down potential locations for games. So now, the, first of all, the world gets to see my handwriting, which I'm what kind of medical terrible of you have, Mr. Roberts. <laughs> you can tell you're an old newspaper guy, can't you? Yeah, very quickly. That is right. Very quickly write things down. So, And then I, I saw this over the week. Look at this guy right across the street at Coldwater at their football field. Uh, there's a house that had this guy patrolling right there. That's a pretty cool thing for Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, like you said, right across the street from the football field. Is that what you said? Yeah, it was right, right? across yeah. the street. And yeah, that that's, uh, tells you a little bit how much they love football there in Coldwater, doesn't it? I don't know if that was Halloween. That might have been. Is that, do you, do you have football? Is that just there the entire season from I just week one to week 15? It, just leave it up all year round, yeah, right? Might as yeah. well. I, I, I did see, too. Did you see the cat in the window? <laughs> yeah, a little kitty cat. 
So there's our uh, bracket. This is the uh, bottom half of Region 18. So the winner of this one will get either Edison or Eastwood in the regional semifinal. We can tell you, I believe Edison had a uh, comfortable lead over Eastwood at the half. So if you're thinking about Archibald Edison, we can uh, refer you back to the last page that we showed you with the gentleman's handwritten potential sites. And again, this is all a, a fun game. There we go. So how do you determine where do you think that you go yeah, by? You just kind of look at maybe. Proximity. Yeah, you kind of look. you got to know what sites maybe have turf. So Mommy, one of those places that had a turf. Does does the, the Kaz, one of the great high school football venues that Miles knows pretty well, does, does Kaz Meyer Stadium maybe host a playoff game now with some turf? Yeah, that's the thing. It has to have turf nowadays, that's, right? That's preferred. I don't know if that's like more might be the unwritten rule. So, Archibald's going to kick the cold waters. We'll begin the yes, second Rivera's half. Will be kicking off so, just uh, the playing a little jump around to get the guys get everyone going. fired up. And uh, I'm fine with them jumping around as long as they kick it out of the way of number six, right? You don't, don't want to see any kickoff returns? If I'm Archibald, I don't. This one, how about Squibber? It's going to be fielded at about the 30 yard line. Brady LaBelle. Out across the, the 35 as Layfeld will get this one. As we begin our Christian second half. With the tackle also now you can jump around because it's not a kickoff Jared return Krieger. for a touchdown. A much better job. Wise decision, I think. Anytime you can eliminate an opportunity for Harlemer to have the ball in his hands, you take it. So it does give the Cavs pretty good field position. They're going to start this one at their own 37. And 14 all on their scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring it. You're indoors out. Blockberger gets that quick pitch. They're going to try to stretch this Jack one to the Ebbing, outside. The Jack Ebbing able to turn the corner, and he's going to have himself a little run bit of running of room. And he eventually is taken out of bounds not before he gets the to the Archibald side of the field. I liked it. A little toss to him outside. Uh, see the great seal block the ball of the right there Queen. against Gun Jack Hurst, number 15, allowing him to water. get to the edge. This was a team that really struggled to run the football outside of that first series in that first half, come out right away, get that running game going. Picked up 15 yards there. It's enough for Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call yeah, Lee's yeah, for all there. of your catering needs. A good job yeah, Kirsten, by that Archibald Steven defense. That time flying up. The the Diller and Hurst arriving at the line of scrimmage. It's like Kovar got about one to make it second and nine. Well, you said everything I was going to say. You just want to take over now? <laughs> and nobody wants that, believe me. Second down coming up for the Cavs here. They give you a whole list of sponsor reads, too, if you want to work on I'm really good at sponsor reads. I've noticed by listening to your radio show. <laughs> Second down pass. throw, Blockberger trying to air this one out, and that one is going to be incomplete. And Harlemert knew it too. Oh, he's got to be the sickest man in Northwest Ohio because this is six automatically. The jet sweep, fake inside, everybody's peekabooing, and the post behind it. He's got Miller beat by a couple steps. Oh, he knows it too. The frustration just took his eyes off it barely. Huge, huge miss by Coldwater offensively. Third down and nine and coming up here for the Cavs. Blockberger will have a man in motion. They're going to fake to him. Mason Welch Instead, it's carrier. Welsh who will get the... Evan, uh, little Evan pitch, Rondon, and he's going to get just inside the 40. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Yeah, a little Andy Reid type of play, right? Shovel pass inside. Now, and if you're a Coldwater fan, nine you're going to say, three. why isn't this a first yeah, down? Well, it's because they whistle it dead right about there. The they let him continue. He down. falls way past the sticks, but it's going to be a little bit short. A huge play early in the second half. Yeah, about three quarters of a yard shy of the first down. Fourth and one for the Cavs from the Archibald 39. Offense stays on the field. Cody first down Dublin, run. It's Evan carrier. with it straight ahead. He'll have Tripped the Lee's recipe chicken first down as he'll get to the 35. He's going to pick up a really good block by Will Berry. Chopped the legs out. 
Allows your running back to have an opportunity to fall forward. Anytime they need some uh, short yardage, give it to Depwig. He is a tough dude. Picked up about four on the run. Cavs trying to break this 14-all tie. Opening drive of the second half. Blockberger rolling. Still rolling. Fires downfield. This one is caught. It's Mason Welch with it. Welch. Trying to make one man miss. Now he's going to try to carry a defender. And finally is thrown Inside down at about the three-yard line. Yeah, Mason Welch has come up big Our here. Fake counter inside. They're going to run the boot Miller, back out. Looks for Harlemert deep. Water. Covered pretty well by First Miller. Goal, Hits Cavaliers the dragon. The he's just going to run through line. a First couple down. tackles and then deliver a thump right there on Chase Miller. I thought he stepped out of bounds, but they're going to say he gets down to the two. Mason Welch is a physical fellow with the ball in his hands. 33 yards on the reception. It's first and goal, like Miles had said, at the two-yard line. Trying to run Jack this Ebbing, one in. I believe that was Ebbing with it. Nope, correction. Jack Hurst, tackle. Miles Potcutter well, with it. Steven Diller flies up from uh, his Cavaliers. safety position. He's been Arden involved Bowl. against that uh, cold Three water run line. game at the line of scrimmage. Second down. Nobody from that Coldwater offensive line is able to reach him. Potcutter's going to lose a yard back to the three, so the ball spotted right at the line they used to kick the extra points. So whatever two-point play that you've got would be a good one to use right here. That may be the Philly special that the Eagles used in the Super Bowl to beat the Patriots. Second goal play. It is the quick pitch trying to get to the outside. Trying to cut up. Second effort. Does he get across? Officials say Ebbing does. And he will score the Coldwater Lumber touchdown. Now watch Mason Welch, who had the key catch and run to get him in this position, just blocking on the perimeter to give his running back, Jack Ebbing, some room. And then the toughness by Ebbing to find the goal line and reach across it. So our touchdowns tonight are brought to you right. by Coldwater Lumber. They provide professional and reliable construction services with an experienced staff eager to assist you with your next project. Yeah, Coldor lined up in the lonesome polecat. If you don't shift over, they'll kick it. The Cavalier kick is up, and they'll it is They'll throw it over there instead of kicking it, but if you recognize it, they'll come over and kick it. Good job by Archibald recognizing that formation. So Cusho is able to knock through the extra point. Coldwater back in front. Now 21-14 will take a timeout here on WOSN. Oh, well, it's a pretty solid eight-play, 63-yard scoring drive for Coldwater. To open up the second half, took about three and a half minutes off the clock. Puts the Cavs back in front. 21-14, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Structure Bryce Outdoor Cushon. Ohio by the Alts. The I like the change up by Chip Otten, the offensive coordinator slash head coach over there at Coldwater. You know, what do you want to do? You want to get more physical, run the football, get Mason Welch doing a good job. Two times he sealed the edge for that run game and, of course, had that big catch and run to get him in position. See Archibald with the football now for the first time in the second half. As Bryce Cushow has this one teed up. A little problem with it. Able to get it second time. Deep kick. That one very safely will zone head into the end zone. A couple of yards Archibald to spare. Run their own 20 yeah, yard such line. a weapon. First you down. can kick it into the end zone. To go ahead and do it because you're guaranteed your opponent's going to be in negative field position. Archibald starts her drive at the 20 yard line. Now down by seven. Might be the biggest drive of the year right here for Archibald. In a position they've been in most of the night as uh, Archibald is able to battle back every time Coldwater scored and they had things in hand and then a kickoff return put Coldwater back in front earlier. Now first down, they'll go, uh, was hey, gonna go run. Brenner changed his mind at the last minute. Found Dominic in that near sideline. Yeah, just an old way, a new way to run an old play, the triple option. They're going to also collapse on you, throw Hunter. it out outside, but of, really good response uh, by that cold water defense rallying the up. From their own 25 yard line, really does down. that made the tackle outside. Pick up a five on the play, he's going to bring up second and five. Brenner in that shotgun look again, drops back. Okay, Double Brenner's clutches a little bit, changed his mind, came near the sideline. Looked for Chase Miller, but it's going to be incomplete. The defense in the secondary for the Cavs. Best pass plays of the night for Archibald. They've been able to get Brenner 
one, two, three throw or move the pocket when he has had to go to a five and read a type of look that Coldwater defense has done a really good job of keeping the receivers in front of him. Coldwater going with a, a three-man look right now up front. Brenner looking to throw here, Jake third Brenner down, He's trying to get this one to the Jack far Hurst. side. Pass is caught by Jack Hurst. He'll have enough for the Lee's recipe chicken first down. Now, really good design because you ring the motion across. If nobody's running with them, you know it's going to be zone coverage. And Brenner has an outside receiver clearing out that zone. It hit Hurst on a quick little out. A huge third down conversion for Archbold in this second half. Yeah, picked up seven when they needed five. Coldwater showing a little bit of pressure. Lucas Let's go back Dominic to Lucas carrier. Dominic, and Dominic's going to be stopped for Cody about a yard. He saw Will Berry, number 78, one of the guys we talked about in our pregame coming up in there late. Going to have to go back to some RPO stuff to take advantage of the aggressiveness of Cody Depwig. No he point. just flies. As soon as you put that ball in the belly of your running back, he Blue flies, uh, fills it. Depwig, man, he is a Sudden fellow, isn't he? He is. Sees action. He wants to go get it. Minimal gain, maybe half a yard or so. We're going to call it second and nine from the 33. Brenner now under pressure. Dave that Brenner one's going to be knocked out. That's going to be a screen goes. to his favorite screen artist. And Bailey nearly jumped early, still had one hand up. Was able to knock that down. Yeah, you got to get some contact in a guy before you release on the screen. Uh, Will Berry came flying in there, made things difficult for the quarterback, Cade Brenner, but he was going to hit Lucas Dominic, his favorite screen guy, with the sudden ability to get in the backfield by Jones, or Berry rather. Great job. Third and nine coming up here for the streaks. In the shotgun once again, Brenner. Looking, moves the pocket. We'll fire this one into incomplete. the sideline, incomplete, the just a floater. Lucas Dominic. The Coldwater bench players getting excited. Did the coach make a nice play in the sideline? <laughs> that was Mike, Mark Bruns, though. He's fired up. You're going to watch him jump up and down Wyatt with the stocking cap. Why? Uh, because his defense did a great job. They rush three right there. Look at who's going to catch it. There it is right AJ there. Harvard, and the bench goes crazy. The to receive. Your defense corner is fired up because he made great plays, but they rushed three, ran a little big game up front, but Depwig forced the throw because he dropped to his own, saw Brenner release, and go get in his face. Ripke's going to roll out, and he'll send this one away. The wobbler with a fair catch made. A fair catch by, by Harlem at, at about the 41. 40, you wonder if Ricky had line, his first mindset. Ten, well, I might take off it with this, That's right? what it looked like at first. Only one guy out there he had to avoid. 7.08 left to go in the third quarter. Good time to tell you that today's premier sponsor for the Coldwater Cavaliers is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve your bank your way. Well, Jack Downey, the defensive coordinator for Archbold, needs his team's best series right here. Only down by one score. Got to keep it tight. Two-score game going to be a tough ask for Archbold. Coldwater's found Jack something Abby's with a run Walker. game. They go with it here on first down, working that right side. Right, George Massigal with the tackle. Evan the gets a couple of yards at also least. Might be closer to three or four. Massigal number 79 and David seven, Oregon number 78. It's a lot of beef on the inside for that Archibald defense. Yard line, That's one out. of the reasons why it's been tough to run between the tackles for Coldwater tonight. That time able to get about three. We'll call it second and seven, just shy of the 45-yard line. Blockberger gets the snap, fakes that first Jaylen move, rolls to Blockberger, the far side. This one is caught right at midfield. To, uh, AJ, Harlemert. AJ Harlemert will come up with that one. Oh Evan boy, what a dangerous throw, though. Out by the numbers, and you're going to throw back inside to her. No, not so far inside. I thought it was back by the hash. It was number to number. One. Pretty good Cold job water. then by Blockburger. Threading the needle. Picked up six. It's going to be third and one. Right at the midfield stripe. 
will go straight ahead. Ebbing is going to jump into the pile. I think he thought he was going to go up and over the top. Jordan Only needed a yard for the first down. It looks like he'll get just also that. David the second Oregon. time on short yardage. Ebbing has and delivered a big 10. conversion Cold for this Coldwater offense today. Well, it's a really 40, good block by Troy Milligan, 40, number 76. Yard line. Yeah, they actually down. might be closer to two yards. It is enough for first down. Our first downs tonight are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. We'll call it the 48-yard line, so gain of two. Coldwater keeps their drive going. Short throw, this one is made. To, uh, as they'll get it out to Hardimer. Braylon Hardimer. Nice stop in the open field, uh, eventually Josiah for Archibald. As along Nathan Juarez, the first Juarez. one out there. Yeah, Juarez, really good work attacking the outside leg. The, the hitch, and you know the receiver's Ball going the to fly out towards the sideline. Gets that right hand, right leg, and then forces it back inside to where his other defenders can come help. That was Josiah Gomez working to get there. Pick up a four, brings up second and six. Blockberger with the give, just straight well, ahead Cody football here. Here. Yeah, Tough sledding inside. Eddie Mason Yoder going to make a tackle, tackle along with Siegel and Burroughs. Burroughs. Definitely that time with the call. Two on the play. It'll be third and three give him the maybe a yard Balls or so yard just past the 43. Parker just foreshadowing down. a little bit. If uh, it comes to fourth one or two or even fourth down and three here for Coldwater, do you go if you're Coldwater? I think yes. Trying to get that score to go up by two scores. They're going to fake the run. Blockberger's going to roll out. Is Make a little bit of confusion on the play there. It's going to lead to the incomplete pass. And Wyatt Extremely with the well played the by a disciplined Archbold three. secondary. Going to be a quick screen Cold outside. They played it well. The the sets up fourth down. One fourth down in about four. And it does look like Coldwell are going to go ahead and go, or at least line up the show that they're going to. Everybody on Archibald sideline yelling, watch the football, right? Don't fall for the hut. Uh, well, Archibald has been in this situation uh, in the opening half, and they jumped off sides twice. Now, what does Coldwater do on fourth down? Man goes in motion, Jaylen, block Blockberger Blockberger. rolls, fires, has a man place. open, it's caught. For the first the down and more, Harlemer trying to get across the field, and he's going to use his speed and get touchdown, all the way Cavaliers. in for the cold water lumber touchdown. Yeah, Harlemer's going to get credit for the touchdown, but this is going to be Balin Blockberger, just a fantastic job playing quarterback. Rolls out to the right hand side, gets a good block by Depwig to get him free. Hurst working there to get in front of him, but buys enough time. To spread that zone defense right. out, Crucial. his quarterback or his Crucial. receiver, A.J. Harleman, settles in at the hash mark. Everybody loses track of him, and once the ball's in his hands, good luck with that. It's touchdown time for Coldwater. Yeah, third score of the night for A.J. Harleman. This one from 43 yards out. Now Bryce Couchot on to attempt the extra point. Kick is on its they way, and the extra point is good. is good. So for the first time tonight, someone... Goes up by multiple scores. It's a two-touchdown lead for Coldwater. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Well, big fourth down play. It's a 43-yard pitch and catch. A.J. Harlemert able to come across the field, gets into the end zone. He'll score. And now on our structure outdoor right. Ohio scoreboard, 28-14. Coldwater with a two-touchdown lead over Archibald late in our third quarter. Uh, Deppelik doing a great job sealing that edge against Jack Hurst. Allows ba Balin Blackberger to get himself some extra time to find A.J. Hollermert. That is a tremendous play by Coldwater. This kickoff will be fielded just Jack shy Hurst of the goal line. Jack Hurst trying to create something for the streaks out across the 30. Still on his feet. He's going to truck a guy at the 41-yard line. Tackle by and not just a guy, the kicker. That'll be a first down for the Blue Rarely do you want the kicker to get involved to, to make a tackle, but in this case, it's a good thing because he's going to stop a touchdown. And take a look at Jack Hurst. Remember, we said, don't do it, runs through another tackle, then boom! What a forearm to the face Jack Hurst delivers. 
And Cushow just uh, speed bump long enough to get him down. So Arch with a good field position. 3.53 to go in the quarter. They're going to start at their own 40. Hey, if you're a kicker and you want to make your teammates love you, other than make big kicks, that right there, make a tackle on a kickoff. Throw on first down is going to come out to Miller. Chase Ethan Miller get this Elander one. Forward progress is going to be marked up closer to about the 47. Yeah, fake inside. Also Just quick little throw. This is when Brenner's been Rafael. at his best on the move or on rhythm. A gain of seven on the play. It'll be third and uh, second and How three. How big was that? Streaks. Missed Rumble opportunity by Urchel right before half. Line. Driving in for a touchdown, ball at the 10. They fumble the football away. They could have been up by seven and a half, and now trailing by two. They would have had that touchdown. It'd only be down by one score. Second and three coming up here. Jay quickly Brenner gets rid of this one. As Evan Went will have Back it, and he will get out and it gets the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. down. For the blue three. First and 10, Archibald. Let's see if Archibald starts picking up some tempo a little bit. First down. Pick up a six on that play. They'll have it at the cold water 47. The Cap fans over there, a little bit blackout action. They look a little subdued. I guess they're used to being in the playoffs, right? Yeah, they know this is a good Archibald team they're facing. Brenner. Gabe Brenner's pass under pressure is going to get rid of this one on the sideline. Receiver, receiver fell was down Jordan or was field. knocked down, depending on your point of view. And Mark Bruns dials up a little bit of twist action inside. Secondary defense by Brandon time you get pressure on the quarterback with three or maybe four it is uh, advantageous for your secondary because it means you're dropping seven three. at least in the coverage. Nobody for Archibald was open. Gonna bring up second and ten for the streaks. Brenner. Long time before the snap. Might have been Lucas a change of the play. As he'll go to Dominic on the ground. He'll get a couple of yards. Andrew Jones with the tackle. Well, you know you're feeling also good defensively there when there's more than one on. guy getting an orange helmet It'll on a runner. You saw that time. Four or five guys contacting runner. Dominic past the line of down. scrimmage. Another huge third down opportunity here for Archbold. Got to stay on the field after giving up back-to-back -back scores against Coldwater. Yeah, this is going to be third and eight. Talked in our pregame how good both these teams are on third down. Both teams' defense is giving up just under 30% of third down conversions. Brenner, they get rid of this one. Trying to float it out to his man, Dominic, but it's going to be incomplete. Jack Ebbing. Oh, if he's able to get it to Dominic, this is going to be a huge play. But the back of Cody Depp, no, Jack Ebbing is going to get in the way. This one, you want to try and loft it over top to coverage. That time, Brenner kind of threw it on the line, allowed the back of Ebbing to get involved. The fourth and Wyatt eight, Ripley and White Ripke on to punt once again. Step into this one, sends a high kick. This one will bounce and heads the between the numbers and sideline, where it'll be down inside the 20. 20 yard line. Where it'll be first and 10 for the Cavaliers. It's Coldwater with that two score lead. We'll get it back with a minute 42 to go in our third quarter. Now, if I'm Coldwater, you know what I do here? Run? No, I take a shot. No. Go for the kill shot right here. Give me a formation where I'm going to have one of my big fast receivers outside. Throw it up, see if number six can make another big play. <laughs> Cavs will have this one say at the 17. Miles Potcutter, the ball carrier. Potcutter is going to get this one. Bounces to the outside where he's going to be brought down. Steven Diller with the tackle for the Blue Diller will track him Blue down Blue. from behind. Yeah, they've been using Mason Welch to seal things on the perimeter. Pretty good job Again, initially, but look at Steven point. Diller to tenacity. They keep fighting the outside. Ooh. Get the running back to the line. ground. Potcutter. Positive yards, but could have been a bigger play. Yeah, stiff arm might have gotten a little bit of face mask as well. Yeah, it's funny how running backs get the benefit of the doubt on that play. Pickup of uh, four on the run is going to bring up. It might be closer to five. 
going to bring up second down just out across the 20 yard line as they go back to Bacotter once again he'll get to about the 25 with the stop for the blue streak I'll bring up a third and short uh, Craig Chipotten also there play caller the over at Coldwater he has not gotten away from trying to run the ball inside haven't had a ton of success but that time got positive keeps that Archibald defense a little bit honest Third and two coming up here inside the final half a minute. Empty look. Blockberger looking to throw. He uses the middle of the field. Back to the man that's been his favorite target here in the second half. That is Mason Welsh, who's going to have enough for the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. He's just going to run the under concept. Linebackers drop too far. You got to get contact hand on crossers and run them free. And he's just going to catch it and run across the sticks for an easy conversion. And Coldwater's going to run over to their sideline. They're not interested in running another play. And, and why should they? The They're up two scores. And they'll carry that lead into the fourth quarter here on WOSF. Coldwater continues to drive the football right now up 28 14 as we get set to begin our fourth quarter. Coldwater, two drives, two scores. Archibald, two drives, two punts. That was the difference in that third period. Mason Welch has been a big difference for this Coldwater offense in the second half. Here's a pass going to be thrown backwards. They'll get it out, trying to allow for A.J. Harlemerk to get a little bit of a running head start. And he's able to cut up field and get a good game there. That's a lateral to Harlemerk. And you know how good he is? Everybody knows it's coming, right? Everybody sees it. They know exactly what it's going to be. Archibald does a good job defending it, but he still gets positive yardage. And picked up four there. Second and six coming up. Blockberger in that shotgun. Send a man in motion. It's time Jack to fake Ebbing, it to him and go up the middle with Ebbing. Eddie Ebbing Oder gets, with the tackle for the straight. Uh, say a yard to the 37. Also there was Jordan yeah, a lot of stuff to fool you, but Eddie Yoder doesn't fool him at all. For the, Some words for the exchanged Cavaliers, at the end of that play. Good Coldwater. job by Archibald grabbing Eddie Yoder as they get in the huddle. Third and uh, five coming up here. And they'll fake it. Thought about taking that shot downfield. Said Blockberg is going to just throw this complete. one away. Off front pressure now, for the fourth Christmas time in this football Wise game that Blockberg literally just throws the ball out of bounds when nobody's open. A much better job as opposed to trying to force it and putting the ball in a precarious position where Archibald could get a quick turnover. It looked like Harlemert was the, uh, AJ Harlemert uh, was going to head downfield and then when he saw his pump. Quarterback scrambling was trying to come back Chase to Miller, him. 12, we'll but Chase three. Miller did a good job of grabbing onto him, not allowing him to get free and work up that sideline. A big answer by Archbold here to get a punt. Kunk will step into this one. One hung up high in the air. Does bounce sideways. Coldwater's going to down this will about be down the 35. The line. If you're Archibald, you still don't have to panic. It's only two scores. However, you do have to start being cognizant of where the clock is at it at 1023. you got to start counting how many times you're going to get possession at most, maybe four from here, right? Three, you're probably going to get two at best, or you know at least two. So you're going to have to start thinking about, well, we're going to be really efficient with our drives moving forward. And as a play caller, that's a little bit more freedom because now you can think about four downs instead of three all the time. Streaks will start at their own at 35. Brenner in the shotgun, rolls to the near side. Wanted to stop and throw, instead moves hey, some more Brenner's and finally we'll get rid of this one. It's going to short hop intended his intended target. Coming near uh, Jack Hurst. The, uh, secondary Gavin Zabrina. Looks like we do have an injured man down for Coldwater. I believe that's Will Berry, number 78. You see him punching the ground right there. 
gets one of his buddies to push the toes back. It tells you it's probably a cramp. Trainer's going to come over and say, no, 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 that's my job. I got it. Oh, look at, look at him just torque on those toes. You know, that is a calf, calf cramp, and those are the worst. So Barry trying to get up. I think, she, I think she found the spot. What do you think? So he's not going to be jumping up and running off. Yep, there is. Yeah, the, he's like, yep, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm good. Let's get that worked out. So he'll well, Barry is the sit out at least Cavalier. one play. Oh, that's going to bother him for a few minutes. Trying to get that feeling back. I think yet. it was the shoe. I think the shoe was there. He had a, a blown tire. He had to get back working again, and he's going to be just fine. Good thing he's played a heck of a football game. So now that everything is taken care of. Once to go to the huddle, but he'll have to sit out at least one play. So he'll go over, get a little go juice in him, and he'll be ready to go. Well, now, if you're Archbold, you try to take advantage with one of Coldwater's best defenders on the sideline for at least a play. Yeah, it's still not to the point where you have to throw Second it down. So, yeah, you run the football a little bit, make it a workable third down. You want to be third down and ten with another incompletion. Brenner. Rolls, he'll fire Dave this one. He's going to be caught right at the sticks. The sideline by and they're going to mark Chase him. Miller. They're going to give him the Lee's recipe run, chicken first down. Now yeah, look at the pass rush. Three, three guys going. They're going to get pushed inside. Dempo's going to try and show up first late, but down. that allows the quarterback Brenner to get outside the pocket. Down. Gives him a free look at Miller for the first down. And now a little bit of tempo by Archbold. He did get the 10 yards they needed, so first down to 45. Brenner goes again to that far sideline. Pass, pass is, is caught. Lucas Dominic. As Lucas Dominic will take a couple of big uh, shots. Yeah, he's going to go to the sideline and Harlemert. watch Braylon Harlemert. He's, he's a oh, That's a short pad to the Blue face Street. mask. Hello. Balls at the Coldwater 48 yard line. This is going to be on the Coldwater side of the field to the Cav 48. It's a uh, gain of seven and it'll be second and three. Okay, we get rid of this one, coming back to Chase, Chase Miller. Miller, a little stutter Andrew step. And that's going to be enough to give him the least famous recipe also chicken first down. Because an old defensive Kale lineman and Wenny. defensive line coach. That's I love seeing it. Kale Wenny, number 70, playing at the defensive Cole tackle Water, spot. Comes line. flying first all the way back to make that tackle. That is running to the football as a defensive guy. You get fired up seeing guys do that. Pickup of six moves the sticks. Archibald down to the cold water, 42. Brenner likes rolling to that right side. He's going to step up. Okay, fires down. Field's got two men out there, and he's going to overshoot everybody. Intended for Jeff yeah, tough call against quarter coverage. Coldwater just trying to keep everything in front. Four guys playing as deep as possible. Good job. Had he been able to see the out and up a little bit early, had a little bit of room on the sideline, and Brenner was having to move out of the pocket to give himself some time. It's going to bring up second and 10 here at the 42. Brenner will fake the handoff, gets it out to Hurst. Incomplete. And that one was going to be dropped, I do believe. On the defense for the Cavaliers, Jack yeah, Evans. Fake inside, run the bubble Gavin outside. Sabrina. Even had he caught it, I think It'll he was going to have a tough time getting positive yardage. And, and Jack yard turns to the sideline and says, I'm disappointed I didn't catch it. He might have said a few other things as well. <laughs> he definitely did indeed. Even had he caught it, though, he was going to have a tough time. That was Jack Ebbing, who's played a heck of a football game flying out there. Third and ten now under nine and a half to play. On our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Setting up that screen once again. This is a successful one, but it's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Brody Bailey will hold that in. Now this is a screen back all the way. Throw back to the other side. 
And Bailey gets him close on fourth down. Archibald's going to go quickly here on fourth and one. Lucas Dominic, the call on that right side. This one's going to be real close. Yeah, Brenner sends it to first down, but Ebbing comes flying through again. Number 22 for Coldwater. Contacts Dominic. If he got it, it's not by much. And time they're going to have to measure this one again. Timeout, official timeout for a measurement. Yeah, you see right there, showing up. Flies through the gap, gets a little bit of help by Pot Cutter. Oh, and if you're Archbold, man, you are just hoping and wishing that those sticks are a little bit tight. What do you think from here? Needed uh, close to the 32. The ball, as you can see, that is the... 33 yard line that it has settled between. I think they're short. Yeah, I didn't think he got it when the play ended. I gotta pull those sticks. That's gonna be cold waters football. And it's gonna be nearly a yard. The ball will go over on downs to the Cavaliers. First and ten, cold water. And the ball will be stopped. Archibald really needed Coldwater. something to come out of this drive with 8.57 30, left. Three yard line. Try to go First tempo. Down. You're gonna run inside zone, but Coldwater was ready for it. Jack Ebbing has just been fantastic on the defense side of the ball all night long for Coldwater. Yet another big play by him. Cavs will take over at their own 33 here with just under nine to play. And Blockberger. Jack Ebbing, the ball carrier. The ball out to Ebbing. Ebbing able to get out upfield. They will West cut up. And he'll be Lucy. out of bounds at about the 40, it looks like. Now, one of those weird plays where you think play. Ebbing is he going to be contacted to the ground early. Runs through second one, four. two, for the cap three tackles. Make it a stiff second arm down. right there. Get out of my way. The only bad thing is he steps out of bounds for cold water. Physical run. Look for Ebbing. Definitely to carry the football from here moving forward as the clock is now the friend of Coldwater. And the Cavs have done a solid job adjusting the second half, been able to run the football a lot more effectively than they did earlier. Trying Braylon to stretch Harlemert play. This time carrier. we'll go to Braylon Harlemert. He's able to get upfield. He'll have Eddie these Elder famous the recipe chicken first down as he gets in the Archibald territory. And that's another first and Gotta ten. Be just a jet sweep. Handoff inside and Look at the patience by Braylon Harlemert. Let's the blocks Got to develop. The the Cuts inside. Get the positive yardage. Cab. That's a veteran run. Picked up of a 12. I want to tell you that the premier sponsor for Coldwater today is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. Blockberger turn all the, the way ball around carrier. to get the pitch to Ebbing. Ebbing again able to run out, out, out a couple would-be defenders. Line. Like Miles said, the ball came Double loose. And it looks like the streaks are going to recover it. The recovery by Evan Wentz. Just First going to say, hold on to the football, run the clock. But you're going to see a missile come in right there, chop it out. And that's Brian Burroughs. He's going to get right away and say, hey, the ball is out. Evan went falls on it. Look at look at Burl celebrating. He knows we need a big play, and we delivered. So Force the turnover on the fumble. Second time uh, Coldwater's given up the ball tonight, and Archibald will get it back here with 8:08 to play. And soft coverage by Coldwater, trying to keep everything in front. Start at their own 46. Pass to Chase out Miller. to Chase Miller. Miller's going to run through a couple of would-be tacklers. Water tackle by Gavin Sabrina. But we do see a big stick into the dirt there. That's going to be pot cutter that flies out. Again, right the there, the flies the by. Good move by Miller to get him out of the way. The road, 49 There's our guy, Will Berry, back on the field, flying out from his defensive tackle position to help get on the tackle. And picked up a couple of yards. On the play, second down coming up here. Brenner keeps rolling Kate back. Brenner He's going to try to thread the needle, get that into the near sideline where the pass is incomplete to Dominic. The Archibald's receiver's got to do Jack a better job of helping Evans. out their quarterback because at the top of the route, when they see him leave the pocket, they just kind of turn and look at him. Got to break out your scramble and scroll technique. 
Somebody works back to the quarterback. Someone goes vertical. Someone runs a drag back to them. Find the open spots. Third and seven coming up here for Archibald from their own 49. Brenner looking to throw again. Okay, Brenner's What's this pass one into a tough spot, and it's going to be intercepted. Jack Ebbing with the interception. I guess who? The Cavaliers. Jack Ebbing is going to climb the ladder and come up with this one. Now watch 22 at the bottom of your screen. Going to contact the receiver, just run, run, run. Turning gets his eyes on the quarterback. And then is athletic well, enough to high point that football. Water, what is fantastic line, linebacker attack. play, Jack Ebbing. He has just been a game wrecker all night long for Coldwater defensively. Second interception thrown tonight by the streaks. Coldwater will take over at their own 35. Opportunity now, partner. Really do some damage with 7.27 to play. Well, you think somebody on that Coldwater sideline reminded the guys, hold on to the football? Cody Depwig, the ball Depwig carrier. now will take over at the running back uh, spot. He's going to carry defender Mason back to the line of scrimmage. The tackle also there with David Oregon. Yeah, down by two scores. Clock's going to get inside of seven minutes here. No game on the David play Dominic, you got to start thinking. Uh, I have three ways to stop the clock. Line, with my timeouts, down. when do I want to start using those? So Coldwater will take their time here. Yeah, they won't snap this outside of five seconds. Already 10 on the play clock. They run toss sweep out of that. It's going to be the fake this time. Run right Bring into that Holliver, defensive line. Saw a big hit applied there. I believe that was David Oregon. Jordan Massengill. Massengill the right there. Going to come free. Going to contact uh, again, him with his no chest play, plate. No, no gain on the play. You run into Massengill or Oregon, boy. You... 35 yard line, a, third down. Boom, hitting a wall. Harlem fortunately held on to the football because that was some thick contact. Yeah, Massengill listed six foot three twenty. Oregon six four three twenty. A lot of beef. Oh, big boys. Yeah, anytime there's free pizza in, in the uh, field house, you, you don't think they're walking away from that, do you? I wouldn't. Hence why. I'm time right out around the there. Field. Now we're going to have a timeout on the field here. Time out, cold water. Cold water, play clock run all the way down. They're going to stop it exactly halfway through this fourth quarter. And we'll take a break with them as well here on WOSF. But cold water taking a timeout here. It's exactly six minutes left to play in our uh, fourth quarter, 28-14. The Cavs with a two-touchdown lead uh, over Archibald on the road. Coldwater trying to advance to a regional semifinal of the site that'll be determined usually by about Sunday midday. Blockberger on Jaylen third down Blockberger. looking to throw. Nothing there. He's going to take off and run. He'll be stopped Diller. shy of the first down as Diller will Time come up and make the stop. The yeah, Randy under shallow Archibald. combination again. He was Coldwater looking for Mason Welch and they hit for conversion earlier four. in this half. Well covered by Archibald. Smart decision though. Doesn't throw it. Doesn't risk an incompletion or a turnover. Tucks it under and runs. Keeps that clock running a little bit until the timeout. Got to the 41, so it's going to bring up fourth and about four. Archibald will use the timeout, like Miles said. They'll stop it here. 551 to play. They'll get the football back as you assume Coldwater's going to punt the football here. You have uh, the other uh, quarterfinal matchup went final. Edison a winner over Eastwood tonight, 38 to seven. So we do know the winner of this one will get the Edison Chargers in a regional semifinal. Owen Punt will be in punt formation for the Caps. Edison also went to 10 and one as well. Looks like the other regional semifinal will pit a couple of undefeated teams against each other. Kunk set to punt. Snap took a couple extra seconds to get to him. Another high end over ender. This one will bounce, continues to bounce. Coldwater doing a nice job. Let that one come to a complete stop before they down it. 
And Archibald will get the football back here with 5.41 to go. And I want to go back to that play that Balin Blockberger on third down didn't throw the football, risk an incompletion or an interception. By running, even if he didn't pick up the first down, he, he, he allowed at least a minute to be at, at risk because had Archibald allowed that that time to, to run off the clock, that would have been another minute off the clock. They had to call timeout. So now they're down to two. Okay, Brenner's pass. Brenner's going to Lucas Dominic. flare this one out to Lucas Dominic. Dominic looks like will get Harvard. out of bounds as Harlem Merton will take him out near the 40. A fortunate call. I thought he had been contacted in. Gain of eight. Uh, gain of eight on the Martin play. Will be second like and two 39, for the blue eight, Second and two Balls coming the out. Well, he's going to need something line, across down. the field on the run. Catch and run through the zone because this cold water second day. See how loose they're playing. They're going to have quarter coverage. Three guys running deep. Brenner. And then downfield instead gets rid of it short again. Gets it out to Dominic. He'll have enough of the leaves of famous recipe chicken first down. Take a little bit of time to set the chains here. See the wind whipping around here at Blue Street Stadium. It's from the 46. Brenner trying to step up. Fires this one. A diving effort. And officials right on top of it will say that one bounced first. Trying to get it out to Evan Went. Just a little bit of a glimpse of the tight windows that Brenner's having to throw into. Coldwater dropping continuously into coverage. Second and 10 coming up from the 46. Streaks will need a score stop and a score. All in the span of about five minutes of game time. Brenner with time, Jay fires Brenner's this one a little bit deeper downfield. This is Went who will have it. He'll get into cold water Welch territory the as he'll pick up the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. The a really good drop Harvard by Brenner. So gets himself some extra distance so he can street. survey the first field. And Went just kind of settles up between the safeties that are really dropping and the linebackers that didn't get enough depth. Just too much time for Brenner to find someone. Picked up 17 there. Brenner rolls to that far side. Now comes to a stop. Still dancing around. Okay, Brenner's pass and is throw this one out of bounds in Jack the Hurst. area of Jack Hurst. Felt oh, the pressure coming Pumps. from the backside. Got rid of it. Now when you roll, you, you really shrink your windows. Played the football the just from the hash 30, to the sideline. Two receivers on that line. side. And there's Sam, our uh, camera lady, that does a great job on the instant replays. Braving the cold and wind out there tonight. Nice job, Sam. And Curtis Aldrich, our top cam guy, doing a great job as well. Second and 10 coming up here for the Blue Streaks. Okay, Brenner's pass complete to Brenner Lucas Brenner will fire Dominic. this one complete. He'll be still shy of the first down. Uh, Miles Potter with the tackle for the they catch Cavaliers. It up, but before he gets out of bounds or to the also there sticks, was allows the clock to continue to run. Aren't we going to have to work quickly? From the cold water Trying 30, to save those last deadline, two timeouts. Got to get that play in. About 20 seconds ran out from the tackle to right about now. We got six on the last play, so third and four. Brenner rolling out. Fires this one okay, towards Hurst. It's going to be incomplete. Hurst bracketed Jack out there Taylor. in double coverage. Well, the they had both Leifeld and Welsh out the there. For the now it's fourth down for the streaks. Tough route to hit. Your quarterback rolling to the left towards the sideline. Trying to hit between a corner and a safety. That has to be a line drive of a throw. You lofted too much. It's going to go into the safety. Hurst had a small opportunity there. Uh, here's your season right here, Archibald. Got to convert on fourth down. Brenner gets the play from his coach. No runs over to that far hash. Coldwater faithful across the way from us making noise. Fake both ways on the end around. Brenner's going to keep it, here. looking for the sticks. And I believe he's going to be hit out of bounds a yard short. 
AJ Hunnibert. They're going to fake it inside, fake the reverse, and then they're going to try and get everybody out in front of the quarterback, Brenner. Siegel tries to get there, Burroughs tries to get there, and then AJ Harleman arrives and arrives in a hurry. Shut it down. Coldwater taking it over. They're going to take over with exactly four minutes to play. Second time this quarter. Streaks have lost the football on downs. Coldwater will take over at their own 28. And they're going to let the play clock run all the way down. Clock did stop because of the change of possession. Timeout called by the Cavaliers. Yeah, they want to take a timeout. So the stoppage will take a break as well here on WOSN. So after the timeout, Coldwater will now take over. They've got the football after the stoppage on downs at their own. 28 up, 28-14, four minutes to play. Archibald does have two timeouts left. Try to stop the clock a couple of times. Cavs are going to keep this one Wild on the ground. A good run on first down. Wyatt Ripke with the tackle. Also be there Miles with Cotter with this one. He'll have about eight a on the play. Again, a gain of nine on the play. It'll be second and one for the Cavaliers from their own 37 yard line, second down. So actually, we'll give them nine to the 37. Break the huddle with under 10 on the play clock. Miles Potcotter. And the off again to Potcotter. He's going to be pushed back in the line. This is a flag on the play. That'll hold things up here. David Oregon with the tackle for the Blue Street. Let's see what the penalty is. Illegal procedure will be the call against. So it's going to be Cavaliers. a penalty against Coldwater, so that'll back him up five yards. So it'll be second down and six yards to go for the first down for the Cavaliers from their own 32-yard line. Second down. So the other three quarterfinals here in Region 18 have gone final. Liberty Center and Oak Harbor both posting 41 to seven wins this evening. Tigers and Rockets set up in a huge clash of undefeateds next week. That'll be the opposite side of the uh, Region 18 semifinals. Second down, Baylen. Coldwater looking to throw. This one's going to be Blockburn incomplete, so they're going to help Archibald out with the incomplete pass. Hubbard. Stops the clock with 3.04 to Page go. Miller at the defense of the secondary along with Evan Wemp. It's third and six for the Cavaliers here. from their own 32-yard line, third down. Third and six. Cody Gaffig, the Delayed draw play coming up here. Goldwater's going to run right up the middle, going with Cody Depwig. And he will have the Lee's famous recipe down chicken down first Lee. down as they'll first get to the 45 yard line. From their own 45 yard line. It's a fresh set of downs here nearing the two and a half minute mark. Defeat, Handoff defeat, going uh, up the middle again. The ball carrier. 
back to uh, Depwig. Wyatt Ripke and on the tackle Depwig will get a couple of one. yards, and it looks like timeout called by the Blue Streak. Archibald, Archibald will use one of their final remaining timeouts. So with the uh, stoppage, we'll take a break as well here on WOSF. 225 left to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Outdoor Ohio, Structure Outdoor Ohio. So Coldwater will have a late player running out onto the field. This looks like Ebbing back in at the running back spot here. Second down coming up. Braylon Harlemert, the ball carrier. He'll get it out to Harlemert, trying to bounce to the outside. Once that first down, and more down that Ryan far sideline. Might have uh, gotten out of bounds. Uh, that was the last thing they wanted to the do. Cavaliers. Going with Harlemert on the direct snap. And that will uh, stop the clock on the first down. Left to go. I'm going to tell you once again that our premier sponsor for Coldwater this evening is the People's Bank. AJ Harlemert. AJ Harlemert taking over the quarterback spot, getting the direct snap, and it looks like he will have the Lee's famous recipe chicken layers. first down. Set the chains here, under two to go. And it looks like that Coldwater is going to be able to put this one away. As it looks like they have gone back with a Blockburger. It's come back in at the quarterback spot. And they may just Miles run this a couple more times here. Okay. Botcotter with it. He'll get to about the 20-yard line. As the officials will... Take a little bit of time to unpile the bodies. Mason Siegel with the tackle for the Blue Streak. A gain of three on the play. It'll be second and seven for the Cavs from the Archibald 20 yard line. Get second it at down. the 20 here, and they'll have about two more snaps of the football. Burger will get this Miles one. Potcotter, the ball carrier. Hand it off again to Potcotter. Just runs straight Ryan ahead. With the tackle he'll get to there. about the 18. We'll give him a couple of yards. Well, and it looks like Coldwater will Gator only have to run on one more play. Four for the Cavaliers. Ball is at the Archibald. 18 yard line. Difference of about 11 down. seconds between the game clock and the play clock. Coldwater students about ready to celebrate a victory as Coldwater will get in the victory Bale formation. Blockbarger, the ball carrier. On the knee it goes, and the final seconds will tick away, and the Coldwater Cavs are going to move on to the regional uh, semifinals as they shut out the Archibald Blue Streaks here in the second half. Come away with a big win this evening in Archibald, 28 to 14. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll go down on the field where Miles Holiday is going to catch up with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. So Big win tonight for the uh, Coldwater Cavs as they've uh, come to Archibald and knocked off the uh, third seed at Streets 28 14 in our regional quarterfinal. Part of the reason was the three touchdown night by Coldwater's. A.J. Harlemert, he's down on our field with our Miles Holiday as tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Uh, A.J. Harlemert right here. Boy, he was a dynamic dude tonight, wasn't he? Uh, A.J., were you a little surprised that they kicked you early on that kick return? They just tied the score, and you're a huge threat. Uh, the field just kind of opened up. Were you surprised by the opportunity? 
Uh, not really surprised. You know, you just want to make plays when you get the opportunity to, and I'm just happy that uh, all my dudes got good blocks and just find open space, uh, get in the end zone. Yeah, talk about opportunities. You had a couple opportunities to make big plays in the passing game. Uh, do you feel as if anybody can cover you ever? Uh, I mean, I don't want to be arrogant or anything, but, you know, one-on-one, you just – you want to have as much confidence in yourself, and you just got to uh, beat that guy one-on-one, get open, make plays, you know. So, obviously, I mean, I dropped one, but I'm just happy we uh, came home with a win, so, yeah. Well, it's still a game until the fourth down play. Uh, they ran the quarterback sweep to your side. You, you dissected it, made the play on Brenner to deny the, the fourth down. What did what did you see? How would you make that play? Oh, uh, yeah, as a corner, I just seen uh, the back came out in the, in the flat, you know, got to keep my contain. So hit his outside shoulder, and then it was just me and the quarterback, and you just got to take him down, get off the field on fourth down. So that's what we had to do. I got to ask you this. Your brother's a heck of a player on this team as well. Who is the fastest Harlem Mert in the family? Oh, that's me for sure. I don't want to give him any credit. That's me. <laughs> All right, I figured that would be the answer right there. Now, great win for you guys moving on. What's it going to take for you guys to keep this train moving forward? Oh, you just got to keep working to get better and better every day. Uh, I don't know who won. I'm guessing it was probably Edison, but, you know, we got another week of practice. I'm just blessed to be able to play this game of football for another week, you know, get better and better and just prepare for that game on Friday. No, it was Edison, and good luck to you in the next round. Fantastic job. Good luck moving forward. Uh, Randy, what a dynamic fellow with the ball in his hands. Yeah, what a speed burner he was. Again, three touchdowns tonight, two uh, on pass catches. Also had uh, the kickoff return, like Miles had mentioned. So, uh, Coldwater moving on. It will be the Cavs and Edison both. A Region 18 semifinals now set. So Edison Coldwater in the bottom half of the bracket. Top half will have a couple of undefeated square off as Liberty Center and Oak Harbor will do a battle. So that's going to wrap things up here from Archwold. want to thank everyone making our night possible. Starts with the AD here at Archwold Schools, Mr. Alan Gladio. Can't thank uh, Curtis and Sam for the work they do on the cameras battling the uh, weather. Whether uh, we start with the 90-degree uh, games and with it about 35, 40 out there with us all year long. And, of course, our director, Ken Reeker. Great job each and every week putting together high school football here on WOSN. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.